beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to that. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed Hallelujah. The Bible says, resist the devil. It didn't say discuss. It didn't say hope. It didn't say wish. James 5.13 says, is anyone among you afflicted? Let him pray. That's it. That's the requirement. Is anyone afflicted? Affliction is not just sickness. When things are not happening, as the word of God said should be, let him pray. Let him pray. All I need is you, Lord. Is you, Lord. All I need is you. All I need is you, Lord, is you, Lord, all I need is you. That's why we're here tonight. For all I need is you, Lord, is you, Lord, all I need is you. Say, na na ma sa na 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 all I need is you, Lord, is you, Lord, all I need is you. One more time. All I need is you, Lord, is you, Lord, all I need is you. Hallelujah. Spirit of the living God, we acknowledge you tonight. We're gathered here tonight, connecting from across several cities and nations. Lord, tonight we have come to learn, we have come to receive of the Spirit. We have come to learn from the fountain of wisdom. Therefore, we pray that the hallowed bread be broken tonight. Grant us illumination and understanding. Grant us impartation capacity to rise to deeper and higher dimensions in the spirit we receive this because we ask and we declare that we will give you the glory in the name of jesus amen god bless you please greet someone and be seated there's a lot to do tonight jesus we bless you hallelujah for as long as we are alive, we will continue to lift up the name of Jesus. We will continue to see that his glory is revealed. 
one of the things that the advantages of appearing before God every time is that fear dies in your life fear is a very wicked spirit it's a dangerous spirit fear has the ability to magnify anything negative are we together when we come before the presence of God the things that brought fear to you when you come and watch other men that God has helped squash them into pieces and trivialize them then you go back full of faith because Satan loves it when he surrounds you with fear and makes it look as if ah this is over this issue in your life and family there is no hope for it these are the kinds of platforms where we call the devil a liar and we don't just say it by calling him we we prove the excellency of the victory and authority of the spirit hallelujah praise the lord we're discussing the dominion mandate this is part two and um what a joy i consider this topic very 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 instrumental to our understanding and our growth as you know the church of the lord jesus christ has a ministry and one of it is not just to be the light of the earth but to equip believers our assignment as ministers of the gospel is to prepare believers to open them up to all the dimensions and the possibilities that are required to be effective in representing Christ are we together and so we piece together all the dimensions that will be required to grant you access to reign and this for me is one of the the cardinal teachings of the Christian faith the dominion mandate because this encapsulates the will of God right from before the fall of man and he still represents his desire for us today um, we discussed a few things last week we last week was basically an introduction to what I call the original plan it is important for every believer to know and to understand the original plan the average believer has no idea um, as to why we are here what necessitated our being here why the evils um, when you understand the dominion mandate all of a sudden there will be a synergy the happenings around you why the devil seeks to destroy men why the Holy Spirit was given to us why we must be effective without revelation our commitment will be false and they would not be able to last are we together now so we looked at the original plan and is found in Genesis chapter 1 let's look at 26 the Bible tells us how that when God was going to make man the prime of his creation Genesis 1 and verse 26 and God said let us make man in our own image we discussed two things I said how that number one Adam was not the first man created no Adam was the first man who introduced our dispensation that is true but Adam is not the first human species created the first created in the image and the likeness of God are we together the Bible is full of several instances of beings and events that happened that predated Adam himself the mere description of the word subdue as part of the the instructions given to Adam suggests that there is an enemy an enemy looming somewhere hallelujah and I did tell us that um, it's important for us to understand that the ultimate, please listen, the ultimate for the believer is not just heaven. Now I know that um, evangelically we teach that everything is heaven and we're not necessarily wrong in that sense. But the whole idea is not just heaven. God's idea is not just to save sinners something happened there was once upon a time where the man God created was not a sinner are we together but there was an instruction given so Adam was not on earth just because of sin he was on earth doing something sin came and met him interrupted the plan so I, I gave us an analogy last week how many of us remember how that there was an original plan are we together and that plan is contained in the word dominion 
a system of legislature and governance in one word dominion is governance an exercise of sovereign control now the, the nature of man's dominion must be um, it man was not given absolute dominion man was given delegated dominion there is a difference are we together now the an adumbration of man's dominion was revealed by Joseph in Egypt are we together when Joseph was exalted he said you know I have been made a prime minister the prince every other thing was under his control it was only in the issue of ranking that Pharaoh who was a representation of the type of the father Jesus being Joseph being the type of Jesus and the Egyptian woman he married was a type of the church are we together now so all of those are prophetic events that reveal several things and um, we see how that God gave man authority the Bible says the heaven even the heaven of the heavens has is the Lord's but it says the earth has he given that's a very important thing the earth has he given to the sons of men when man was being given that access to dominion satan had it are we together satan was somewhere around the earth and he had everything clear and from that time he began to seek for a way to negotiate with man and the only way he could get man to fall was to do get man to do what he did treason rebellion are we together he came through eve and then lured adam and i have taught us again in this place how that adam fell willingly everybody say it adam was not deceived the person who was deceived was eve eve was deceived adam fell because of love he didn't fall because of ignorance are we together and that remains true today there are few men who fall because of ignorance it's easy to deceive ladies it's very difficult to deceive men they fall because of love the second Adam also fell because of love Jesus was not deceived the father didn't say just come and look at it and then just close heaven and say I meant to say you should come and die no it was a well calculated thing his wife that Eve had now fallen there was a separation so the second Adam there were many things that parallel Jesus and Adam. He's not just called second Adam just because of the nature of sin. No. Are we together now? He's called the second Adam because he did what Adam did. And so he looked at his bride and he stripped himself away of his glory. And he came to join that bride. Like Adam fell from the glory of God. Are we together now? So redemption is a restoration process redemption was not an initial agenda redemption was a restoration process of course in the infinite wisdom of god a program already had been created like that but experientially speaking right in the garden there was no discussion about apostles and prophets and teachers and koinonia and churches and meetings and all of those no 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 it was about government it was about governance it was about legislature it was about replicating the fullness of the life the glory the character the nature the influence of heaven to be able to find expression across all that territory i hope you know that not every part of earth was like the garden of eden the garden of eden was a type of god's intention because as i'm going to be teaching you it is how god advances so he creates a prototype of his intention plants a man there and gives that man capacity to extend that influence so adam's assignment among other things was to be able to piece together the resources that made eden eden and start extending eden and there were two major ways he would do that one by creativity the other by reproduction take note we are going to deal with this we are discussing very deep kingdom issues now reproduction creativity all other dispensations did not know that there was a possibility of reproduction by a man meeting with a woman producing seed it was always creation not reproduction 
it was our dispensation that introduced another dimension the only way things were extended in dispensations before us was creativity so if you wanted something it was purely a product of invention but now god revealed a dimension of himself you see marriage has nothing to do with a man and a woman marriage is a dimension in god he only brought the woman out of a man so that they will be actors on earth the primary purpose of marriage is not just children the primary purpose of marriage is to reveal something about god then children come as an advantage so when you lose the prophetic implication of marriage the physical activities are just a waste that's why satan likes gay marriage it's not about a man and a man a woman and a woman it's about corrupting a program are we together now yes so when a man likes a man or a woman likes a woman it's not just inordinate desires that's that's not the issue the is is that men are actors on earth and satan is rewriting another script to describe something bad about god because he dwells in light there is no darkness so he brings a man and a woman these are the only actors who can best describe that mystery called marriage so satan is switching scenes and bringing a man and a man and a woman and a woman the realm of the spirit understand the message that is being sent are we together reproduction reproduction i'll be teaching you different dimensions of dominion later on and you find out that authority exercising authority is just one out of the many ways are we together yes there are many facets authority exercising authority is one of them by speaking passing decrees number two the ministry of prayer especially intercession is another system of dominion number three reproduction you are not manifesting dominion if there is no reproduction hallelujah so the fall of man was a veering off of the original plan for many of us the foundation of our christian journey just starts with the cross or the coming of jesus it looks very spiritual but it's wrong the foundation must start right from the beginning are we together i taught you something in theology that we call the law of first use or the law of first mention that means that when you want to examine the character of a word or the the usage of a context you have to search for where it was first mentioned study the context of his usage and that's what you use as a compass are we together now so if you want to know the purpose of man we must go back to the book of beginnings genesis are we together now and then see what god said about that man you don't search around for scriptures on prosperity and wealth and then find out where man just appeared in the scene you must go down from the beginning and god said when man appeared he never had any sound on earth the first sound his ears will hear was the speaking of his creator be fruitful multiply etc etc and all of that so it's important that we look at that and study it very importantly the fall of man led to the necessity of redemption jesus himself coming the entire program of redemption was a restoration program not a restoration to heaven not a restoration to heaven please listen carefully not a restoration to heaven a restoration back to god's original agenda even heaven itself as we know is a subset of that agenda revelation tells us clearly i told you the bible finishes with the beginning of a new dispensation am i against heaven no am i against the reality of the fact that saints will be caught up to the heavens no not at all the bible acknowledges that but then it does not stop at us being in heaven we are returning back again right to the earth so it is important that we understand um god's system this series has three main areas we're dealing with the second today the first is what i call the original plan helping you giving you an exegesis of the beginning 
to understand that God's original idea was not just for us to have cars and houses go to school get married have children train them the way an average believer and well-meaning believer the way an average believer is trained is not makes him or her not to be productive let me tell you something it matters how you are trained and it matters who trains you are we together let me repeat myself it matters how you are trained and it matters who trains you the person who introduced jesus to you did something to you very serious it was more than a message the person who has introduced the faith life and the spirit life to you may have communicated his or her limitations it matters what you are told about satan it matters what you are told about demons it matters what you are told about the holy spirit are we together it matters what you are told about purpose and destiny it matters it's not enough to just have information it is important to study the communicators of those informations because this is where error and limitation came from so we have sincere people who are well-meaning but they have not paid the price to take advantage of the ministry of the holy spirit and the word to study comprehensively the program of god unfortunately our bible colleges our schools of ministry do not do so much justice in opening people to god's blueprint so the entire scope of the average believers understanding of what we call our pilgrimage the journey is this i am born one day i receive an evangelical message and then i'm told to give my soul to someone i cannot see and then i hand over that soul to him and then in in return i hear that he gives me a life whatever that is i just know i have it and then i'm also told that my name is in the book of life meaning i've escaped hell hallelujah glory to god what else do i do i'm encouraged to be a worker in church then i'm 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 encouraged to get a wife or a husband that is like me then two of us are encouraged to make sure we have children are we together then we are encouraged to make sure we train those children as a sign of responsibility then we are told to just live our lives giving glory to god regardless of what happens and then we are told to prepare for death that is that is that is another writer's script that is not god the word of god that liveth and abideth forever is very clear as to god's intention so most believers are largely confused you were in secondary school and they told you just keep moving university just finish up you came from the world into the university from university they say now that you are going into the world and you know all kinds of sympathy happens and then you now enter into the world and people say get a job and you get a job and then get a wife or get a husband have children and then try to have cars depending on your level of carnality if you want to if you, you are broke and nothing happens just manage it and you know, all sorts of 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 teachings that look like they are nice then one day you find out that you are sick you don't know why you are sick and then you go to a man of god who says you are healed and you don't even know why you were healed why is god interested in healing men why is satan interested in afflicting people then you find out that a dear lady gets married listen i'm giving your work your faith work meaning and then the lady is barren and she goes to the doctor doctor i've been a nice lady i didn't live a wayward life what is happening and the doctor says that's what i'm trying to figure out i was trained to study just give me time and the doctor is confused cannot find out what is wrong and the innocent lady lives in pain and her whole ambition is oh god give me a child or give me children think how confused we are on earth everybody is trying to suggest to someone how they feel their lives can be better so someone says look if you don't have money your life will be bad and then the other person says so this is what you know i've been looking at okay let me try to get the money then you become a millionaire and you are happy and you find out that that realm has another trouble you cannot even explain are we together and this is how we live we receive advices from confused people who confuse others we mentor our children they grow in that confusion and the earth is just a cycle of failure it is important that among the the curriculum that we are given we must be able to give meaning to our lives that's why people commit suicide why not just because they are frustrated 
their frustration only amplified the meaninglessness of living that's why people do all kinds of stupid things with their lives abuse the word abuse means abnormal use you will misuse everything god gave you if you do not know why it was given are we together yes when you carry 10 bottles of alcohol with the writings written boldly that it destroys you you are not pouring it on the ground you are transferring it into your body it's called abuse an abnormal use why because you do not know that that body was a loan like you collect a loan from a bank if you collect a loan from a bank and you misuse it you are already signing in for disaster so we abuse our bodies when god gives you a wife and you don't know why a wife came they ask you why are you married you say well i just found out that i was age was not on my side and they said i should find somebody it so happens that this is the scapegoat who i now call and you abuse that innocent woman are we together or vice versa there are women who abuse men you now find out that god gave you a calm person who says sorry for everything and now he happens to be the victim of your emotional confusion your the 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 confusion that surrounds your trying to define your life and you vent it on your spouse and where both of you are bold enough to confront one another the children become the victims it, it is still an extension of confusion when people celebrate golden jubilee they celebrate it angry wondering what they've been doing for 50 years oftentimes most of them are not healthy they can't hear well they can't see well they made costly mistakes in their youthful days that they are paying the price now they didn't have access to the mysteries of the kingdom they've destroyed their lives they are poor they are broke their lives are meaningless it's alarming the rate of suicide right now it used to be in the west you know the developed nations and now even in africa you get up you don't find your child you just see a letter farewell and you see someone on a tree now if we don't do something about this let me tell you right now counseling is big business psychology psychologists are getting a lot of um, um business now because there, there are all kinds of trauma centers not just from plane crash so a human being can be alive and just enter a trauma center and say look i need help why i don't know what i'm doing i'm seeing things i'm hearing voices my life is confused we need to return back to god's blueprint otherwise we are going to live absolutely useless lives when you understand the dominion mandate then marriage becomes useful children become useful prosperity becomes useful education becomes useful are we together when you understand the dominion mandate it will make sense to you every requirement the bible gives so we cut away from god's original agenda and then we keep telling people don't use don't live a useless life live a life of meaning and the person saying what is a life of meaning get a job get a job and the person says, okay he gets a job and fights all over his office till he retires aren't you seeing the way our lives are it's a circle think very carefully when you were 10 years 12 years just in with your little friend or your little brother or sister about the confusion in life now look at you, you are getting to 40 you have joined that vicious circle of confusion even as preachers so many preachers do not know why god gave them a church god just called me and said raise me a people a people of power a people of holiness a people of grace a people of prosperity and we put that that team on our churches our members come and they don't exactly understand what we're saying someone gives a testimony oh god gave me a breakthrough we clap but to what end god made me a minister god increased the dimension of his grace then pastors chase after anointing and you ask them why and they say my church is not growing my life i can't i can't live like this no bread on my table i need to access power i need value so they access the anointing like escapism from poverty then when they become a little anointed they are now happy doors of ministry are opening and then honorariums are coming and all of that and then with that that's how people live i want you to refuse to live a meaningless life are we together 
you must insist somebody now is about to get married tomorrow in this confusion he's confused he's holding the hands of another confused person and then they are starting something they don't even know where he's going will they dance yes will they eat yes will they be happy eventually no no this is not about demons god's original agenda is the key to joy and happiness not money not education ask those who have these things rich people hang themselves and drop their money and wheel it to a cat why because i have five useless boys in my house give this cat my inheritance our world is gradually demonstrating that disobedience to god is costly so we must return back to see you high and lifted up shining in the light of your glory pour out your power and love as we sing holy 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 open the eyes of my heart lord open the eyes of my heart i want to see you i want to see you there are many of us today our parents are angry with us why because they want you to follow the path they followed and the word of god is already telling you that ah they like the way their lives are and they they do not believe that something they are doing is why their life is like that they tell you just follow don't please don't embarrass us just let it be like that oh i want to get married to who yeah, the brother he's starting of mm, don't do that you see if you do this we are going to beg are you not seeing the way our lives are and then people control people and we are victims of men's thinking there's a lot of gap let me tell you something you need to re-examine the concept of age this thing called age the most excellent part of age is the wisdom attached to it if age fails to come with wisdom it is useless did you hear what i said yes that a man i'm not you know we have i have i have so much respect for elderly people you're elderly here i honor you with all my heart but i'm teach. we need to redefine our philosophy of i am old and i am young because there are many old people that are responsible for the pain of people on earth age gives you access it should give you wisdom only age does not just add wisdom on its own at best it can give you sophia human knowledge the fact that you made a mistake does not mean you have found the answer so you can tell us in 1961 i made a mistake did you find the answer you may still be in that ignorant at that point you are just familiar with the problem not the solution how many old people mentor young people you are about to marry and oh no problem i remember i married in 1941 that asked that man's wife whether she enjoyed marriage see her an old woman she would tell you i only enjoyed marriage for three weeks in 40 years that's the person mentoring two people and he said listen to me no i won't listen to you no sir i will respect you but i reject that kind of life you will not define that template for me Do you know why God is called the ancient of days? You know why? The, he is called the ancient of days because of one word, wisdom. Take away wisdom because Satan too is an ancient of days. He's old. The Bible tells us Satan is old. What is the difference between him? At least they are old enough. I think any man that is older than 6,000 years is old. Satan is not 6,000 years old. Before 6,000 years, he was already called that old serpent. Yet he's as foolish and stupid as whatever. Because it is only a fool that says in his heart there is no God. And the Bible says even the demons, they, they, they try to ignore it. So they deceive men into believing there is no God. Get your life into your hands 
and trust God to use the word of God as a compass and redefine your life. Because there are many of you looking at me right now. We are doing what we call jack of all trades, master of none. This is how they taught me to live. Oh, This is how I will live. I have my little job with NMPC. Another person has a job with one, uh, one para, paramilitary. And then we are on our way going. We don't know the purpose of children, so we abuse them. People give birth anyhow and make the children liabilities to men and society. You just come and somebody passes a child to you and say, take care of my child. As if, as if the person was part of the arrival of the child. Why? Because the people doing that do not know the revelation behind Abba, Abba, Father. If Before you source a thing, you must be ready to sustain it. This is what should govern getting pregnant. Not time do we have the resources, the wisdom, the grace, the capacity for a child. If a poor man gives birth to seven children, he's a foolish man. Correct? Not just because he wants to demonstrate that he can give birth. He is Abba, source you must sustain. So you leave those children and they become armed robbers. Remember I told you Satan is looking for bodies. And because those bodies cannot be handed over to God, Satan will find available bodies and they plague our society today, kill people, rape women and children, maim people, destroy the peace of society. We have violated the dominion mandate. And this is why this teaching is very necessary. Are we together? Revelation chapter 5 and verse 10. The original plan was what I discussed. I spoke to us extensively about the fall of man. And I spoke to us about how that redemption was a remedy system. Now that you are born again, you must be able to have a redirection back to God's original agenda. And I said a few things to us. I said how that there are certain conditions that are required. Number one is your natural birth. For you to be able to stand and execute the dominion mandate. One is your natural birth. You must be birth, born of a woman. Because when Jesus came, he came to redeem all those who were descendants of Adam. Listen, let me teach you something. Everybody look up. Hmm. The blood of Jesus is only applicable for descendants from adam if you were not part of that dispensation the work of grace and the cross is not relevant to you otherwise satan and demons should also be forgiven because a statement was made on the cross it is finished what is the it everything that had grieved the heart of the father the legal claims of justice had been appeased. The Bible says he shall see the travail of his soul, Isaiah saw, and he shall be satisfied. So if he says it is finished, that means the demons that neglected their original estates that are now in everlasting chains, alongside Satan, I've told you, Satan is not the most wicked of the spirit. No, he's not. The belief that satan is the most wicked of all the spirits the king of all the spirits is is not necessarily error it's just a limiting knowledge because satan is not bound in everlasting chains there are spirits more wicked than him that are bound in everlasting chains the bible says that they were bound even for the sake of the elect are we together I pray that God will give us wisdom. You see how peaceful your life will be? This is what Satan does not want us to know. Man of God, listen. This is what Satan does not want your congregation to know. Because if you don't know this story, you won't see the necessity of your victory and you will not know that you have been restored to now begin to walk in dominion. And demons will play games with your life. They will play games with your destiny. You will live your life under the mercy of situations and circumstances. So, your natural birth, then your spiritual birth, or what I call a rebirth. The Bible calls it a regening, regeneration, regime. Every possessor of Adam's genes, born of a woman, 
is born in iniquity are we together now born in iniquity means that legally you are under the influence of satan the prince of the power of the air as wrong as well as the elements in this system and you cannot carry out the dominion mandate with the genes of adam so there is a regening a regeneration are we together now when jesus christ comes into your heart a real miracle happens there the bible tells us there is a translation the bible says he that is joined to christ is what help me one spirit one spirit not two spirits one spirit so christ comes to live in you he creates his throne in your heart tabernacles in you in the person of the holy spirit now watch this the moment that happens you are now ready not to dominate you are not ready to dominate you are ready to now begin the process that restores you back to god's original agenda the dominion mandate now this is where many believers miss it and pastors ah, pastors if you do not understand the difference between prophecy and experience you will mislead people the speakings of the bible are twofold the prophetic communications of god are we together now and the experience of that communication when god speaks from his perspective it is done because god has no past no present no future he's called alpha omega time is not something that god is limited by he is not even limited by eternity eternity is still a subset of him if he dwells in eternity then somebody created it correct are you getting blessed tonight and so you must understand that this god that we are talking about is not limited you must understand his systems and how he works when god speaks he can say sam when you enter that house and by the time your fifth child comes you see that and sam can say i'm not even married that's the speaking of god god will never say when you marry uh -uh. he talks to men as if he's talking to himself this is how, this is why many people do not know god can look at you and say promise take care of these 30 children whereas he doesn't have a job that's god because in his word is also the grace to convert that prophecy to experience so he will not speak to you like he's speaking to a man let me tell you one way to know that a word came from god is that there will be no resources at that point to make it come to pass whether spiritually financially etc if god speaks to you and you have the resource to do it you had your brain or a demon noah build me an ark to stadium two stadium of i mean the ark of noah was stadiums too like that are made of gopher wood how many years plantation agriculturist will give you that noah spent 120 years building that how many years 120 years but the way god spoke it it was as if rain will come next week this is a mistake many people make god can say i have sent you today this is how god speaks because your whole lifetime is still his today so god says today i have anointed you as a prophet to the nations then you get up with lack of understanding the systems of god and now ordain yourself and try to get visa to ghana or smuggle your way to uk and you die somewhere in the forest and it there will be is it a lie no god spoke to you but you did not understand the difference between prophecy and experience it was paul who was teaching the church in hebrew and began to teach them in chapter 2 and told them he says now god did not leave anything under the feet of man are we together now he was trying to quote um, the the psalm of david right what is man that thou art mindful of and then he says but now that's experience in god's eye and in god's mind nobody should be sick in god's eye and in god's mind there should not be one sinner on earth because right from the foundations of the earth the lamb was slain go to the prison is there a thief there please answer me is there a thief that went into the prison today yes 
so does that mean that the efficacy of the word is not working no it is he already said it is finished and they are still criminals it is finished there are still barren people god will look at someone on a wheelchair and still say it is finished yet he's still there the day that the anointing and the faith of that person comes he enters into the experience of that word that's why god is resting but he says there remaineth a rest not for god for his people what is that rest the experience of his finished work so we keep moving around with ignorance and making a fool out of ourselves and demons are happy and hope we continue like that and then at the end of it the equation does not add up and then we are frustrated and humiliated is god helping us tonight tonight we are going to look at the second aspect and that is discipleship the dominion mandate has three segments number one is a revelation of the original plan the fall of man and the restoration through jesus that's the first the second is discipleship what is discipleship a system of training for reigning a system of reprogramming a system of recalibration into the image and the likeness and then next week we are going to look at the third segment governance so these three segments number one the original plan the fall of man and the restoration process that we call redemption the second is discipleship discipleship is not some some doctrinal curriculum of people no it is the way people are trained to carry out the dominion mandate listen nobody reigns just because you have received jesus remember the scripture that i gave you last week right that they that received two things number one the gift of righteousness number two the abundance of grace so two requirements to reign one you must receive what the gift of righteousness no man can walk it is god's very nature imputed through faith when you believed in the finished work of his son his death the burial the resurrection and the glorification not just the resurrection jesus did not just ascend and is hanging in the sky he is seated it matters because Ephesians starts with the revelation of his seated position. So it's not just the death. I know great men like Kenyon and all of that talk about the death, burial, resurrection. But it's more than that. The death, the burial, the resurrection and the glorification. That coronation was what David saw. The Lord said to my Lord, the Lord, the ancient of days, said to my Lord, the Christ, sit down at my right hand until i make your enemies your footstool hallelujah discipleship why why discipleship let me tell you something because you see when you receive jesus christ everybody listen carefully when you receive jesus christ automatically it gives you access the life of god is in you give us genesis chapter 1 please verse 26 god created man there was a twofold design and this design this configuration must be gotten back for man to be able to walk in dominion number one is what his image the first purpose of discipleship is to carve in you the experience of the image of the christ the spiritual dimension the spiritual composition are we together now paul said this he says my little children in whom i travail until christ be formed in you the formation of christ in reality the indwelling of the word is a reflection of his image because the bible says let us make man in our own image and the bible says christ who is the word is the express image of the godhead he that has seen me has seen the father are we together now Philip said, show us the father. And then he sophisticated. He said, Philip, have you been so long with me, Philip? And yet you have not seen the father. Whoever has seen me 
has seen the father so christ came as the image so man must first be made in christ now listen let us make process let us make process the moment that life of god comes the making is not automatic the life is there the spirit of god is at work in you if it were automatic then you do not need the word and you do not need the, the ministry of the holy spirit the formation of christ now please everybody listen this is one of the indices for spiritual growth the moment believers get born again if you have ever wondered what next let me tell you what next is the spiritual development of those people so that the life the character and the traits of christ will be fashioned in them are we together now the image so pastors apostles prophets evangelists together that fivefold ministry they work harmoniously to help people achieve this are we together the image of christ being formed in you that's what you call character that's what you call the fruit of the spirit the fruit of the recreated human spirit when you read galatians chapter 5 verse 16 paul was teaching the galatian church and he said this i say then please give it to us galatians 5 and verse 16 we'll read 16 then we'll go down to 22 he says this i say then walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh so the key is what walking in the spirit you must be trained to walk in the spirit the bible says to set your minds on the things above and not on the things of the earth it takes a training the name of that training is discipleship discipleship is not just an indoctrination into a church's curriculum and beliefs are we together because many of us hate the word and i understand because it has been used religiously by people who are not even born again discipleship is how people are made to reign verse 22 it says but the fruit of the spirit there are all kinds of theological understandings but the fruit of the spirit is love listen joy peace long suffering gentleness goodness faith meekness temperance he said against such there is no law meaning that it is impossible to be a violator with these conditions this is the atmosphere of the spirit the fruit of the spirit combined creates an atmosphere that becomes formidable no power and force of hell can penetrate that all these things you call the fruit of the spirit are and they are ingredients that structure something the bible says that we are built into a spiritual house like living stones one block upon the other you are adding love joy peace patience gentleness let me tell you every attack on a believer's life comes when there is a lapse in one of these are you hearing what i'm saying listen are, are we learning am i am i blessing you every attack on your life will come based on an advantage that was taken as a result of the absence or the deficiency of this from where comet um how does the bible put it quarreling and all this among you you see that when there is no love there will be jealousy when there is no love there will be bitterness when there is no joy the bible says for with joy shall you draw out of the wells of salvation is that true it says the joy of the lord is your strength when your spirit is weak there is no joy joy is not laughter joy can only be given by the spirit unbelievers have happiness only believers can have joy is of the holy ghost joy has nothing to do with circumstances it is a state of being that is based on a revelation and the presence of the holy ghost count it all joy my brethren when you go through die how can you rejoice knowing this knowing this this is the secret of the joy knowing this without knowing it you cannot have joy so when you are going through diverse situations you lost a loved one you lost a job something is not working well ordinarily you should be sad but knowing this there is a revelation that the trying of your faith work at patience and then that let patience have her full course then it will make you mature it will make you unfruitful knowing this 
hallelujah are we blessed we must build the fruit of the spirit in people you can be educated as educated as anything and lack gentleness goodness meekness and never be promoted correct you went to school but you are not gentle at all the company throws you away because you lack the fruit of the spirit do you know all the the commandments of nigeria are a human attempt to get men to have the fruit of the spirit so when they tell you pay a bill of hundred thousand naira and all of this is their own way of trying to force you to feel the pain of stealing somebody's thing it is their way of trying to give you love when they jail you because of impatience they are trying to get you to be what to have long suffering because you are not patient that's why you wanted one million in one day and you jump somebody's fence or you stopped a luxurious bus let me tell you the chaos in our society is because there is the absence of the image the charisma, the image of christ every law when you whip your child it is because he violated something that is here when a husband beats a wife something is missing peace sister when a brother comes to say i want to marry i want to marry you do you know why you don't say yes immediately you go back and start cross-checking you don't even know this is what you are cross-checking does this guy love me it's not just love god alone does he have joy this brother is an angry brother peace i watch what he did to somebody one day long suffering this guy looks like a hustler he puts his hand in everything is he gentle no the way he approached me was bad is he good no he's greedy does he have faith he come you know and all of that and when you calculate all those things the other side of the equation creates your response and you go back and say no now you may not know that this is what you were checking when someone is advising you he's helping you society can never go into decadence when the image of christ is enforced the image of christ is the unifier whether you are from kogi state plateau state listen to me whether you are yoruba or Igbo, all those disparity in culture that is as a result of bad habits can be neutralized if the image of christ is formed in believers so when you see someone who is hausa and someone who is um Igbo or someone who is yoruba or someone who is from the south south four of them you will not see any noticeable differences why because they have allowed the genes of adam that was a part of the course that came through their earth and programmed something oh the men from this place are stupid the men from this place are irresponsible when you allow the character are we learning the dominion mandate it says man was made in the image it was not possible for adam to hate it was not possible for him to be impatient how did man fall because there was a pastor that said something satan became that preacher that's why when god came he said who told you not who showed you a voice reprogrammed you so how will men return back to this a voice will reprogram men the spirit of god is in his words as you are hearing this something is happening to you you are now seeing that this is not the issue of marry from here or from here this is not the issue of i am from bielsa i am from south south in our place this is how we do it all those our place when you talk like that let me show you whose descendant you are on earth there are two families one those who are connected to adam and everything adam came with two those who have been regimed 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 into another family so you cannot look at me and say you come from so so place your people are drunkards i don't know who they are i've been called out of every tribe genesis please give us revelations 5 verse 9 i want you to read it god has to deliver us verse 9 1 2 no gen um revelations 5 media 5 verse 9 revelations revelations let's read it one okay verse 9 5 verse 9 thank you okay read it one to go 
and they sung a new song uh -huh, saying thou art worthy to take the book and open the seals thereof for thou was slain and has redeemed me unto god how by your blood out of kogi plateau state emo enugu out of the irresponsibility that comes with the men in that place out of the pride out of the selfishness out of the hatred the bitterness he has redeemed i've been called i sympathize with my people but i'm not part of that tragedy i am another tribe i've been carved out listen if you don't believe this thing you are not a christian it's not just that it's bad you are not a christian at all what else do you believe we have been called that's why in koinonia here you don't see anybody do anything which tribe i don't even want to know where you are coming from i know that there are two families the ones on earth and the ones in heaven we are all related the blood the veil torn a family no we no man after the flesh oh your father is this i'm not saying don't be sympathetic to people in your area or whatever jesus started preaching from the jews but some of this carnality this tribalism and this these garbages we bring there is a thief in every tribe there is a fool in every tribe there is a devil in every tribe every tribe has witches and wizards there are poor people in every tribe so it's just that we, you know we make it look just because you saw more northerners looking stupid you come up with a theology that there are all more Igbo people and say every Igbo person is it's just money monger is a lie there are people who have exempted themselves called out not everybody is a money monger not every lady is a materialistic person just looking for a millionaire it's a lie not everybody is an irresponsible person not knowing where he will go some people have seen the end they have seen you know what i'm doing to you is a reprogramming this is discipleship i am unifying you now it is on the strength of this you can call somebody brother and sister that issue of brother and sister for many people is carnal it's just carnal because you were told to say it brother um, alpha brother femi and the rest but when men like kenneth e hagen rw shambach when they used those names it was out of this revelation i do not know you in the flesh but if you are in christ we are brothers you are welcome they extend the right hand of fellowship everybody say the image we need the restoration of that image there are many people who are not spiritual live likeness we're coming there we must teach you how to be like christ be like christ be like christ that's the image the image talks of being the likeness talks of doing the image talks of being being who you are not what you do let's go back to genesis Please give us verse 28 we'll discuss more 28 um next next week 1 verse 28 genesis now everybody i want you to observe something and god blessed them and said listen carefully be fruitful he never talked of having anything you be it first then later on he now said have dominion so god's focus when he's beginning to work with man is in being first before having we have reversed it somebody gets born again today and we say you must have you must have a car you must have a house which is he he's having something he has not become he's trying to have the likeness no image so one million naira comes he has but he has not become so it will destroy him are you saying that now yes have a wife but he has not become a husband so it destroys him the primary strategy and pattern god's kingdom pattern for discipling people and nation is to focus on their being before they are having listen 
those who write programs for foundational classes in churches must subscribe to this otherwise you are going to produce a powerless carnal many times devilish believers that's why there are witches and wizards in church because we are passionate about having so if i am born again and in two weeks i come with a flashy shoe flashy cloth i'm showing you how much i help me preach back to me i'm showing you how much i on the strength of that you will say i have faith and the brother who has just one trouser but the gift of the spirit the fruit of the spirit is working in him we look at him and we say no this one you don't have so because you don't have the word is not working our focus is on having spiritual men rank and rate people first by being so i can look at you and all you have is one trouser one bible but i see christ formed in you you are on your way fulfilling the dominion mandate i know that this guy will soon be a principality listen believers let me preach to you stop focusing on having focus on being first the image comes before the likeness is god speaking to us this is a message to someone already because our society is full of falsehood men and women who are obsessed in having having why because we want to prove we live in a carnal world that only interprets and rates you based on what they can relate with none of these fruits of the spirit is something that is tangible in itself their manifestation can be tangible as you relax you relate with people and environment but you cannot know so i look at this brother and what he has is peace what he has is joy and i think those things are cheaper than money so the brother would rather kill the agenda to being and then focus on having when god begins to deal with a man you find out that the curriculum he gives you has nothing to do with things like teaching of prosperity it's going to be prayer first you are filled with the holy ghost are we together and then you begin to teach he's drumming on you issues of character holiness morality you have to greet people you move around and think i am from this i am a yo-yo guy I, and he says look drop all that thing oh i am the nobody talks to me i was a capon in this and god says that's that's your business and when you want to mess up he tells you listen nebuchadnezzar was not what he had he had money he had power so he could run his mouth and talk nonsense and then he was made to become a beast for how many years seven years a beast with the brain of a man the moment nebuchadnezzar recovered he became a preacher read your bible never empower people who have not become it's dangerous it's a lesson many of us will have to learn that you are a millionaire does not mean you carry a small child who has not become and give him money that's why i like Igbo people when they are doing business they bring in an apprentice no matter how rich that man is there is a limit to the exposure of that child is that true he now begins to do business and they study him one day they will leave money in the drawer five hundred thousand, and throw some small things scattered and then the man will go out he will come back and find out that one thousand was missing and he will keep quiet that boy has not become the day he ever says settle me the man will say i will slap you if you ever talk of settling you have not become you want to have you have not learned integrity you have not learned character you have not learned submission no hmm. is god teaching us being have you become an expression many of us today i can show you that the reality of god's image has not been found formed in you because that anger is still there you've been born again for five years you pray in tongues more than everybody but let somebody just say something small your name is sam and somebody just said uh, john uh, sorry what's the name you don't know my name look i i i know who i am if you do this is you think it's a sign that you are spiritual no I can look at your life and rank you spiritually in a moment i don't have to see a vision away with your cars 
away with all the money and the checks and all the prestige and the english and etc all those things could not have him i look at your life when i look at your life i'm searching for the christ the word of god already painted a picture and then he says let this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus then the bible says he had something and was something but he gave them up and became 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 not possessed the possession happened when he became therefore god had so highly exalted him and given notice that people first became before they had the secular system reverses it packaging and falsehood is trying to portray something you are not so i borrow a shoe i borrow a suit i borrow watch are we together i borrow makeup i borrow hair i borrow anything what am i trying to do it's not that i i'm trying to show you i'm not cheap bottom line correct whether i'm cheap or not is 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 my own issue but i want you to know i am so conscious of what your perception about me that i don't mind faking everything around it but someone can sit down with gary and say no problem i'm not ashamed this is where i am now i will take it with honor and dignity if i don't look if i look cheap to you like that no problem i agree with the process but i am becoming next time somebody looks at you and tries to make you feel like you are a useless person you you cannot do this and that no problem you are becoming you are becoming line upon line this is what is happening to you in koinonia many of you do not know what is happening to you god has already given you a vision you will be a great prophet a great apostle but you are saying oh god nobody has seen me god says sit down you are becoming you want to have access to the mic you want to have access to a church your body is itching you to have access to lead a program and god says sit down you first become before you have it's god speaking to us discipleship leaders learn to discern people who have become before you give them access don't give people access as a general thing if there are four people three people you now say oh you have given you too much access let me share it with this no in the kingdom distribution is be, be as a result of a careful study i have discerned you can fake all those things and act like it but the truth is that if you are not it will show he said by their fruits not by their gifts by their how do you know them by their a gift is dash a fruit is a sign of maturity so someone insults you and says emeka do you know that when you were entering the university i already had phd and that thing stinks you and you're like i'm a doctor oh, don't talk and the old man adam adam wants to resurrect with his foolishness and all of a sudden that regening has been crystallized and you laugh and say god bless you ah, ah. and he says is it the emeka that i know that used to beat everybody i heard of a regening let me tell you if you claim you are born again and there is no evidence of transformation you need help you need counseling you need a retreat praise the lord there are so many there are angry pastors there are wicked pastors there are angry people there are all kinds of arrogant people my name is so 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 and so and so do you know the one you we are looking at you and we are still seeing your culture if i still look at you and see your village then you are trying to say that calling out of tribe and nation has gone it's not it's not yet real discipleship training for reigning bringing you into the culture of the kingdom their way of life this is how we live in the kingdom we live through the law of love we live through the law of joy we are peaceful people in the kingdom ah my temper will kill somebody oh somebody hold me you are you are acting the moment you are acting like your village the old man is attempting to resurrect you must keep it dead we do these things and usually 
there are also other carnal people like us who hail us you know that hailing thing can be so demonic if we are not careful <clears throat> remember they hailed jesus and they said hail king of the jews a few weeks later on the same people said crucify him say you say yes you are looking at me crucify him let his blood be on our head we have to be careful there is one who deserves to be lifted and held forever our job is to confirm into that image here we stand David damn song and lift our hands and we will hail Yahweh Hail Yahweh, here we stand and lift our voices. Together we hail Yahweh, hail Yahweh, we will hail Yahweh. So your first assignment to believers is to make them spiritual the first assignment of a man of God to believers is to extract carnality carnality means a way of living they must be aware of the divine life the divine nature the presence of the Holy Spirit you turn people to become spiritual the life of God is in me I'm not ordinary. I was born by an ordinary man, an ordinary woman from social state. But now, I am a possessor of God's life. Literally. Not just some Christian gimmicks. No, I believe it. It's a fact. It's true. How many believers are aware of that divine nature in them? It tells the way we respond. The Bible says, He that cometh from above is above all he that cometh from above he that cometh from above is above all he that is of the earth is earthly i come from above born of god whatsoever is born of god overcome it overcome it overcome it challenges are not unusual defeat is what is unusual whatsoever is born of god overcometh the world and this is the victory that overcomes even our faith but as many as believed him even to them that believed upon his name gave them power to become power to become power to become power to become they looked at paul ah, ah. paul who used to kill people saul that would collect a letter and go and slaughter people what happened spirituality listen this is not an issue of being charismatic if you don't train your people to be supernatural to approach life and approach things with the consciousness of the divine life the consciousness of divinity there are great men of god all around the world who have spent their lives and spent the years of their lives bringing the church into a consciousness reprogramming and recalibrating our mind that the believer in partnership with the holy spirit is invincible we must restore these teachings there are many carnal believers on earth in a bit to balance in a bit to teach we have made people carnal helpless no matter what happens they say oh well things just happen like this You are in every way divine that's why we don't walk in signs and wonders how do you stand and stretch your hands to somebody and expect a transference how do you do that how do you stand and speak there is no wire tied to you to someone outside because carnally speaking i can only see with my optical eyes but when you step back and and walk in the realm of the spirit then you know that the vistas of the spirit are not 2020 infinity infinity left only to your faith so i can stand here and see someone in overflow three and speak and expect the power of god to touch that person why i wasn't born this way it's called spirituality there's too much carnality that's why when you tell people god will bless you 
they still want you to they want to reduce themselves and many pastors this is the limitation of exaggeration on education when you think that because i'm educated i have a master's in this i have a phd in that now there are very educated people in this place but when people trust their education and then you see them castigate spiritual things anything that does not subscribe to the law of dy dx they fight it are we together mm. you anoint somebody say what is this with this oil they write all kinds of articles titan is a scam by men of god to raise money you see them and then at the end of that ungodly blog they now say my name is pastor so so and so i'm a pastor with living christ parish or whatever it is and that is deceptive because somebody will say ah, this is a pastor and you know carnal people will relate to those things immediately because they are carnally minded are we together anything that massages the flesh they like it once you challenge people why should you come and spend the night praying what is all this blah, 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 thing 10 hours five hours three hours please we are not human beings god gave us a brain and they say that to castigate spirituality the bible says through faith hebrews chapter 10 and verse 3 hebrews chapter 11 and verse 3 through faith we understand please give it to us through faith we understand that the world systems 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 were framed by what please help me they were not framed by cement and water they were framed by an invisible substance called the word of god so that the things which were seen were not made of things which to appear that's why god tells somebody that by this time next year you'll be a landlord and spirit wants to receive but the carnality in his mind will fight it how shall these things be seeing that i know not a man and he says have you forgotten the power of the highest this is the mystery that makes things happen i want to show you why we don't get results god has declared that this is a year of triumph but only spiritual people can receive a carnal man receives not the things of the spirit neither can he understand them why because they are spiritually discerned let me tell you how to know you are not growing by how much you rely so much on your senses and how embarrassed you are to be spiritual about life because there are people who are embarrassed to be spiritual not just that they don't like it it's a thing of shame it's a thing of shame oh you are playing and just playing a worship song and is entering your spirit i beg we are human beings a worship song entering my spirit what is there you are listening to all kinds of music you don't know the difference are you seeing now many people in church you have a selection there's gospel music there's another one by a a, 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 a secular artist that you want i don't have a problem with secular artists i only have this a problem with the spirits behind them i love them as people but there's a spirit behind them music is not all about melodies music is about sounds and the access that those sounds give spirits into your life so someone tells you look i went to school this i went to school he said much learning make thee mad i went to school please allow me to play this song so you just play women of faith for a while just to ease the guilt of feeling carnal then somewhere in the selection something just comes babylon babylon then to witchcraft to witchcraft and you are lying down your body is sleeping your spirit does not sleep and something is happening to you how many of you have listened to a message and fell asleep and it continued playing and you followed it how many of you were sleeping and you were acting what that message was saying it now becomes graphic not just that you are hearing suddenly you find yourself in scenarios doing certain things making confessions these are spiritual things the ancient knew this we who are modern people have become so bankrupt of spirituality pastors let your people be spiritual don't pity them because they prayed five minutes and they're feeling tired and you say no you know our church there are balloons everywhere let's not make people feel you are praying and somebody falls down and the way his head hits the the, the chair even you you say Kai. hallelujah amen let's talk why 
do you stop a baby when he's walking and he tries to fall you allow them ah yes you say sorry but you don't stop the work we must be spiritually minded that's why the gifts of the spirit cannot flow in us we're not spiritual that's why you cannot believe that God can open you up that's why when you hear testimonies the testimonies come to a carnal mind and you start looking at the people scientifically I hope they are lying hepatitis cancer this lady that I know how about Allah it's just that koinonia where everybody will just keep quiet but me we 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 know at that were you blind blind when because of how people are carnally minded there are people who don't believe anything even if they see somebody fall down they will still say somebody pushed him somewhere Hapa. believers you know sometimes when people argue i say ah, ah. prophecy you hear them say they gave somebody the names of people maybe there are people doing it but is it easy to read to to keep names try it is it easy to act like that carnality because we are not spiritually minded if by next week God opens a door for David down we can look and people will now say this guy he taught something we always credit unusual happenings to the realm of the spirit that is a clue that to remain unusual you must remain in the spirit you are like mere men there is nothing worth celebrating the dominion mandate is a restoration into a life of spirituality that the spirit realm governs the physical realm yes it does the spirit realm you must build yourself the divine nature of God the character of God the second dimension let's look at it quickly is the likeness please give it to us again Genesis 1 26 likeness talks of the functionality how God functions the image of God talks about who God is his being but his likeness talks of how he walks mm. believers there are some of you who God saved many people through your hands but you don't know how to build them because you have not been taught the first thing is to help them become spiritual that's why when we when people get born again here we introduce them to the prayer department not just to be workers in the house why because praying they are filled with the holy ghost they are praying you begin to teach them the value of the word of god you begin to teach them the value of communion you begin to teach them the value of corporate fellowship these are foundations then when they are strong then you begin to teach them how to walk like god you start teaching them speech everybody says speech the first teaching on how to function like God is how to speak like him hmm. you reign you reign you reign you reign Kadosh you are mighty on your throne you reign you reign you reign you reign, Adam. You are mighty on your throne. Then you begin to learn that He has made us unto our God. Listen, kings and priests. Your priesthood talks of your ministry to God, your ministry spiritually. That kingly dimension talks of governance and legislature. As a priest, the jurisdiction is the secret place, the place of incense, the place of ministry where you send that incense, it will rise to heaven. The prayers of the saints, the intercession, fellowship, communion, koinonia, that's priesthood. Then you take away that priestly regalia and you put on your crown and your signet ring and you hold your scepter and step out. That is legislature, that is governance. Everyone must manifest this king priest dimension you are a priest when you come to the house of God 
you are ministering to God you are offering up worship and intercession for the saints you are advocating for the destinies of men you are communing with God Almighty that's priesthood then you take on that regalia of kingship and then you legislate and the Bible says where the word of a king is there is please help me where the word of a common man is there is sound but where the word of a king is so I have been made a king and a priest not unto my village unto God and so I can legislate listen the first thing that must begin to change in your life to prove that you are functioning like God is your speech your speech ah we are the weak ones we are the ones who are this and that uh -uh. you know the bible says do not say before an angel i made a mistake your speech it matters are we together your your words begin to be cultured by the word of god you don't speak all kinds of things and invoke woes upon yourself Your communications become spiritual. Bless you. Good morning, sir. Oh, Aluta Continua. Victoria Escarta. You are prophesying. Others are speaking. They are not kings. But you, you have become a believer. You have been redeemed. Yet you are still speaking. You have come out of Egypt. Egypt is still in you. And now, when you speak, you are sending sounds to the realm of the spirit. And you are programming things. They speak and it doesn't happen. You speak and it happens. The suffering continues you massage hardship pressure puts you and pushes you and everything that comes out is your hey why you why you and, and you all this kind of very very unbelieving talk hallelujah you hear a bad report in the name of jesus christ a thousand may fall by my right that's a king speaking ten thousand by my by my right side none shall harm me only with my eyes will i see and behold uh, uh, the reward of the wicked ah i will make sure you don't marry and she tells you to your face and you smile a cause causeless shall not stand there is a mystery that no you see all this threat the woman said this ah uh -uh, a cause causeless shall not stand are we together yes Will you ever finish this house? The hand of Zerubbabel that started this work. It's not something you just reminisce in your mind. It must be vocalized. It must be vocalized. I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. The Gentiles come to my light. Lord, favor surrounds me like a shield. This is a believer talking. Let me tell you what ordinary people would do. The people in our villages know this. You see what they do during festivals. The major activity in festival is talking and dancing then death follows later on in the evening people start dying because people are talking talking chanting things you are moving around you just sense a presence that is not of god uh, don't sit and say Kai, i'm not sure be sure by praying in tongues start tongues first let let praying in tongues precede you while you are verifying so that should in case you can be praying and hear a shout from another room and say oh i see There are human beings that carry spirits they are innocent they are on the way they are on their way coming to your house to introduce spirits not unwillingly but all of a sudden you sense an urge and you begin to pray and they call you and say sorry i just feel like not coming and you know that not only have they revealed something to you they themselves need to be helped you can easily know the spirits that control men by their reaction when you pray because the spirit influences them to act in certain ways that's why many of you when you finish praying in your house that's the day everybody quarrels you i teach you the mystery now the moment you pray agitations from everyone you go you enter your room and the kindest person in your room is attacking you the devil is sending a response if you know you attack him back with joy 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 when you turn to canada don't shout at me yes i'm coming back from koinonia say you claim you are coming back from the church and look at how you match this i'm sorry it's okay you reign 
You ancient Zion king, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Break forth, thou fountains of the deep, and weep, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. So you learn how to speak by faith, Mark 11. 22 23 if thou shalt say give it to us jesus is teaching the disciples how kings speak he's teaching them the language of royalty listen this thing is not just some some you know many believers after walking for a while we claim that those who do these things are baby christians it's a joke a principle that jesus himself introduced nothing in your life will ever change until you sustain capacity to command it to he told Job, Hast thou commanded thy morning? If you don't command it, something else will impregnate your morning. And Jesus answering said unto them, Have faith in God. The correct rendition there is, Have the faith of God. Operate like Him. For verily I say unto you, Now, whoever shall say to what? Say to what? So it is okay to speak to things. Katakota sataya. Not just to human beings. Jesus, our high priest, spoke to a mountain, spoke to a tree. Who told you they don't hear? Biology did not teach you that they hear. But Jesus, the spiritual, teaches you that they can hear. Who told you the earth does not hear? Who told you? That when you stand and speak over your family miles and kilometers apart they don't hear so you can stand and begin to legislate they call you at home and they say in the last three days everybody has been sick you say okay i know what to do and sometimes it's not just becoming a priest you jam the door put your crown carry your regalia Zekatos i send the wind on Aaron. carry the anointing from here to that location you must believe this thing i'm teaching you i'm programming you to be spiritual and how to function like god if thou shalt say unto this mountain be thou removed that means when you speak to things you must be specific specific give us this day what do you want ah, i want i want to do well that's a vague and careless prayer you must call it by name whatsoever adam called that was the name thereof so you name your destiny peace you name your marriage joy are we together you don't turn and say this stupid husband no way my marriage is heaven on earth i call it what it is I refuse to be poor i reject it it doesn't glorify god it doesn't help me fulfill my assignment i decree and declare favor surrounds me if there is a garrison of favor men are coming to bless me today this is a king speaking you are impregnating your morning while others are sleeping you are speaking Shagato kaskariada. favor comes in the name of jesus no accidents no nothing I am immune to activities of witches. I am above. I come from above. While you are speaking, somebody is sleeping and laughing at you. By evening, they tell you the person is in the hospital. When he comes back home, he will never laugh at you again when you are speaking. That laughter is, a, is mockery. Mockery is initiated by a spirit. When Jesus wanted to raise the dead and he said the dead was sleeping, People who were crying turned and started laughing. They mocked him and said, get out of the house. Go out. Get out of the house. I want to raise the dead. And when he was alone, he said, little girl, Talita Kumi, I say unto you, arise. Are we together? Yeah. When Abraham had a conversation and he heard that God was speaking about a child, Sarah had it and laughed. That laugh was sarcasm. One of the proofs that somebody has a wicked spirit living in him is how sarcastic he is when believers make faith proclamations over their destiny. You see someone while he's jumping, his shoe has already caught and you laugh. You see that kind of laughter? It's a spirit. It's not just an act. It's not just a negative disposition. That's why when we say pray and speak and other people stand and they're wondering, ah, ah, you mean this is how these people speak? That's, that's what brought us here 
we acted like him shabranda kaskia in the name of jesus people are blessed tonight the miracle service is a blessing koinonia is a blessing everything flourishes in this ministry because a word waters it words are powerful god rules the earth by the word of his power so you learn the speech of the kingdom you learn how to manifest faith but one of the things that you also learn are the systems of the kingdom i'm teaching you how to be like god let me teach you a deep mystery our time is gone i'll teach you this and then we'll just pray we'll continue next week have you been blessed god never does anything in the bible as a process twice read your bible god's system is to initiate things once and build a system around them for continuity believers hear me i want to teach you how to function like god that's why many businesses fail that's why many people cannot carry out the dominion mandate we'll discuss it next week when we talk of governance he says be fruitful then he says what multiply replenish subdue you can't do those things if you do not understand god's system so god initiates a process as a template then designs a system around it watch this god created man as our dispensation knows once and never had to create man again are we together he created man with the woman in him and then he brought the woman out and designed a system in them and says continue the result of that reproduction 7.2 billion people on the earth in spite of an average of eight people that die per second the earth is still growing because a man built a system systems are powerful are you hearing what i'm saying systems are what powerful when you do business by repeating the same thing you are not acting like god you create a product this is what many people have done google and all of that they don't know about you yet you carry their laptop because there is a system they made it once that's why coca-cola and the rest they have different branches around the world what did they program in those branches systems everybody says systems the greatest conglomerates in the world today operate through systems the same thing happening everywhere the catholics roman catholics i love them among other reasons because of the power and the dexterity of their systems systems maintain consistency it is how god functions god has not needed even when man fell when he was about to wipe the people in noah's days he still preserved the seed and out of those eight families new beginning he started another race systems jesus came as the firstborn of the begotten he died and nobody has had to die for his sins again a system of salvation whoever believes in him shall not perish are we blessed yes africans do not understand the systems of the kingdom so we do the same thing again and again do you know why god created things like videos systems so i don't have to preach the same message twice i preach it once and it is captured in a system and while i'm sleeping I am multiplying the influence to millions of people it's called systems don muen has never met with you yet you have been blessed by his ministry the anointing also obeys systems that's why everybody in every corner listening to don muen's songs will feel the anointing think about it you are not a leader if you do not master building systems when I learned this principle, it made my life easy. Look at how God built a system. God himself transferred governance to man and programmed that man and handed the earth to him. Systems. Now man is mishandling the earth largely, but it's a system. The first crops that came out of the earth, the Bible says God himself planted. I hope you know. Read your Bible. God planted trees systems and then in the tree he built systems what is another name for that system a seed this is how God operates a seed is not money a seed is a mystery that represents the system of continuity continuity 
in every man born of a woman there is a seed that represents potentials for continuity in every woman there is a womb that receives a seed as potentials for continuity so once there is a seed and there is a womb there is reproduction hear me once there is a seed and there is a womb there is what reproduction a seed without a womb cannot bring reproduction a womb without a seed cannot bring reproduction you need to find the wombs of there are many wombs on earth a woman's womb is only an adumbration of many other wombs the morning has a womb every day has a womb you can impregnate it with words and it will give birth in the daytime the pregnancy that happened in the night can be delivered for you in the daytime your mind is a womb information are the seeds when you plant informations in your mind like a woman gets pregnant over time it will deliver to you and change your life are we blessed god never does the same thing twice when you find out that you are trying to do the same thing as a leader the dominion mandate is not working in your life there must be a system of continuity let me tell you it's one of the reasons why we never grow and never flourish how you know there is no system in your life is that your absence stops continuity when your absence stops continuity then there is no system so you are the ceo of the company you travel for two weeks you come back and meet hellfire there's no system nobody knows what to do no system if i'm not around for one year in koinonia it will still continue running the only thing that will be missed is my unique grace and anointing why systems hmm. that's how pastors should train pastors you should be if 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 pastor alpha pastor femi and promise are all my pastors for instance if you hear pastor alpha you should not feel bad that i was not there that systems i have reproduced myself in him when you hear him you will miss me i love it every time i'm not around and people send me a text they say apostle we miss you but god koinonia was fire i said that's right systems but because of our inferiority and this village mindset that we have grown with every time you are not around and things don't work you are happy do you know why that's why many leaders do not mentor and train others because they think it is their way by exclusively capturing knowledge and keeping it how many people have died with secrets that can turn the lives of people how about anointings no if he carries the same anointing as i'm carrying will he ever respect me again look at god he didn't wait for you to be renewed he gave you the holy spirit straight up immediately after confession he granted you the holy spirit he didn't say change no he granted you the holy spirit to help you part of the ways that we rule and dominate is by building systems around things your prosperity is not something that is in the hands of god today your prosperity has been programmed in a system are you hearing what i'm saying god can in the systems are supervised so it's not like they are random there is still an individual supervising them the same way you put systems you can come and look at it and you can decide to influence it that's a sign that you are the owner of the system somebody can slaughter someone as a thief and go back home and get his wife pregnant that system will not stop because he's a wicked man now he'll go to hell if he doesn't repent but as far as that pregnancy is concerned an unbeliever who does not know god taps into god's system of wealth and abundance hallelujah i was telling the school of ministry students that there's something i'm going to teach them about finances that i've not touched and i've not taught any of the sets ah it's a revelation that god gave me that i mean if I teach you that and you don't prosper, I don't know how to help you again. I, I don't know how to help you. Systems. Let me give you a little tip of the iceberg. That being employed forever till retirement is a cause. 
because in God's system you start under people but eventually the goal is for you to be established yourself so the spirit of servitude is such that you continue to serve a man if you not everybody will have platforms like churches businesses but even under those platforms there must allocate a place that allows your grace to function that is the spirit of god and is the program of god that's why he carved out earth and gave man but he gave man delegated authority that means it is exousia but it is still supervised so he can call man to order like pharaoh could still call joseph to order but pharaoh did not interrupt it is the system we run koinonia with that's why sometimes you never come and see me check ah, have the leaders fixed this flower well systems there are men of god you are preaching you are preparing sermon. they just call you and say one wire has caught you bike by yourself to sabo and buy the wrong wire and bring it back before you finish you you forgot everything and then you are stressing yourself when you are doing everything by yourself it's a sign that you are not functioning like god let me show you why many of our parents are under stress they did not mentor the young people so they kept doing everything now the youngest person in the family is 31 yet is still father and mother that is providing food because they did not teach them how education does not teach you how it just enlightens your mind it is mentorship it is discipleship that teaches you how so a man of god starts a ministry and there are ordinary people and then you start teaching them how to prosper you show them the pathways to the anointing are we together you don't hide it there's nothing to hide these are the secrets you guide them you mentor them they receive measures of that anointing that is upon you you have built a system and then they begin to function the key to hardship is to not be able to reproduce yourself through systems you will pay the price and you will never last everything that has lasted and outlived the founders subscribe to function like god we're going to pray dominion the chaos in our society today is because we have not conformed to his image and his likeness his divine nature and his functionality you see why it's important to get people saved because that is the condition that can guarantee the potentials for dominion ye must be born again that's why we make altar calls that's why we're still going to make altar call tonight because there are people scattered inside outside who need jesus now most preachers don't tell you why they just say come to jesus there is a hellfire somewhere to burn the living daylight out of you and you run out of fear you are born again and you don't know what you ran from and to what dominion this is not just the issue of heaven it does not take so much to be assured of heaven because it's not something you do by yourself but when it has to do with your reigning listen the degree to which you have become like god in his image and his likeness is the degree to which you measure your success and your prosperity are you seeing why life cooperates with others life cooperates with god and everybody who functions like him life was designed to cooperate with god alone if you are not god life will not cooperate with you so our needless sufferings and pains is because we have fabricated methodologies by ourselves attempting to get god's result our way let hope let it rise darkness trembles in your own someone is rising beyond every shadow every shackle please rise up on your feet let hope rise darkness trembles in your holy let hope let it rise tonight darkness trembles in your listen i want you to look at your life carefully we're going to pray now 
you can trace every negative thing to your life to your inability to have conformed to the image or the likeness there are troubles and sicknesses that have come to us today high blood pressure because of worry when the peace and the joy of god is in you listen there is no drug that can give you peace there is no drug that can give you joy when you smoke cocaine and snuff all kinds of things they don't give you peace they attempt it you know why people try getting high and they take substance they are looking for peace they are looking for joy they are attempting to use things life was designed to respond to you once you are a possessor of the gift of righteousness and then abundance of grace that comes through knowledge through knowledge the bible says good understanding giveth favor but the way of the transgressor is hard could it be hear me that this is the missing link in your ministry could it be that this is the missing link in your business could it be that this is the missing link in your family why are things not working i'm always fighting with my wife i think i made a mistake i married a wrong woman it's a lie i think i and my children are stubborn there may be something you are fighting your children because you are trying to force them you are violating something about the dominion mandate you don't force people you give them a revelation you force your children to wear your, the clothes you want you force them to read the course you want every time you force men rebellion is inevitable that's why the children revolt but when you give them a revelation you see that god never forces us i set before you life and death i set before you blessing and cursing but here's my advice choose life why so that you can live in other words i want you to live and if you must live the key is choosing life not i force you to live that's what parents are doing and that's why children revolt when you resort back to giving them revelations look it looks like i'm hard on you but it's because i love you i've made mistakes in my own life and i want you to be a great gentleman i'm proud of you and i see potentials that gentleman by himself will start talking in well by himself will stop dressing like rags and remove all those things and start babbing well and not looking like a thief the gentleman will subscribe immediately because you gave them revelation but when you use force on people you are acting as the antichrist man was not mentioned in every element that was given that man should dominate man was not given there are pastors that dominate members and they never see they are anointed but people never like them they can walk into your house any day anytime cook for me fry chips for me i'm a man of god add this and that for me after all elijah told the shunammite elijah did not force her home. the woman had a right to refuse the trouble in the world is a negligence of the dominion mandate nobody was born rich nobody was born poor are we together people program themselves something in my life my life is hard creation is hostile to me in the garden of eden nothing fought adam nothing satan was still alive but adam was immune he only gave access lift your voice and pray and say lord what key do i need to apply to my life please pray pray why are things not working in my life he spoke and said let them have dominion why is my marriage not working why is my job not working why are doors closed over my life why do people hate me i'm anointed why is my church not growing why can't i experience the anointing of the holy spirit why am i poor and broke and begging at all times let hope rise darkness trembles in your own Sing it one more time. Yeah, let hope rise tonight. Darkness trembles in your holy light. Shana na na ma shana na ni. Let hope, let it rise tonight. Darkness trembles in your holy light. 
la mala, la mala, la mala. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Hold on. Genesis, please give us something just came into my heart and i want to share because genesis chapter 4 we are going to read verse 8 let me show why you why our world is a wicked world because you see every time people fail instead of taking responsibility that i am violating the principles and the laws of dominion usually we look for people to fight the bible says and Cain. this was after the sacrifice are we together now the sacrifice of abel was taken and the sacrifice of cain was rejected what was wrong violation of patterns violations of systems are we together now cain got angry cain can be your uncle cain can be your senior brother you see where enmity came from i am the senior brother in this family how can this younger one be successful that's what was happening there are men who fight their wives there are others who fight their younger ones there are people who hate themselves and the bible says it came to pass that when they were in the field that cain rose up against abel his brother and slew him what fruit of the spirit was missing no love no love no love are we seeing there now next verse and the lord said unto cain listen where is abel thy brother and he said i know not that's the liar there at work in him. The manifestation of Satan at work. Am I my brother's keeper? No kindness. No, he had become hardened and wicked. Verse 10. Listen. He says, and he said, what hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood cried unto me from the ground. Verse 11. He says and now thou art caused from the earth which had opened her mouth to receive thy blood oh dear i think i've lost myself the verse i'm looking for i think is the verse before verse 8 that says um cain was angry and god told him if you have done well will it not be accepted maybe it's, i'm sure it's the verses other verses in front we'll leave it because of time that's the scripture i was trying to look for that after cain met with god and was angry god told him come on that why are you angry that i accepted your brother's sacrifice and rejected yours if you did it well will it not be accepted but if you do not do it well sin lieth at your door i think it's before yes it says give us verse six verse six we'll read six and seven and the lord said unto cain thank you this is the verse thank you media why art thou what angry god is speaking to you now emoji why are you angry at another man's church that the church is increasing and you are not increasing businessman why are you angry at another man's business why are you angry that uh, your sister is having her children well cultured he says and why is thy countenance falling that's frustration verse 7 if thou doest well according to patterns shall not thy shall thou not be accepted then he says and if thou doest not well sin lieth at thy door lift your hands as i pray the powers of darkness tying lives and families will give way listen i tell you there will be a move of blood and fire the lord showed me why blood to open up the gates that has been closed why fire to burn everything that has not been planted are you hearing me lift your hands mighty jesus father there are families that are here tonight as a matter of life and death lord your people are not gathered at unto a man they have come for a visitation 
yokes of sicknesses are killing families there are many people who have been tied down and lord we understand that the enemy has done this but tonight we come in by the blood of jesus and lord as i make decrees inside and outside unto the spirit that confirmed the words of your servants i pray that there be an exodus from captivity at the count of seven hear me i like you to shout the name the name of jesus at the top of your voice many of you will fall into visions and trances at once you will see liberations happening in your family ushers get ready let me help those under the anointing outside please shout kata daba kataya one two three four five six get ready now seven I plead the blood I plead the blood I plead the blood bring them out I plead the blood yokes be broken I plead the blood let the blood speak let the blood speak shake a shake a Marekoto, let the blood speak. The blood opens every gate. Every gate. Paka pa pa ra da ba ra da ra da ra da. Seke te 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 te. Eke reke te ba. Masoto seka. Rabaka te leke te ba. Mambre po shote ni ba 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 ba. Eh ya 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 ya. Lift your hands again. At the count of three, listen. I want you to shout I am free at the count of three the moment you do that there will be a release of fire fire get ready at the count of three one two three shaka parada mapoto sosoba rekete teka baba o salabara katalaba kata rekete teba the fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Shake it. I command powers. Let God's people go. I command yokes. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Chains. Chains. Be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Sokoto 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at this lady. See how many people are trying to hold her. Look at how many people are trying to hold one person. See how many people are trying to hold one person. Come out now. Out in the name of Jesus. Out. Now. You are going by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Leave her now. Now. Out. Come out. Let her be. Just leave her. Leave her on the floor. Out. Come out now. Be free from yokes. Be free. You and your loved ones. Let her go, devil of darkness. Leave her now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Your time is up. Come out. Come out right now. Release this family. Release them now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Your time is up. The blood speaks. In the name of Jesus. of him now come out come out of him by the fire of the Holy Ghost release him and all that belong to him the blood speaks now I open up this gate now be free in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. These are the powers, the horns that frustrates the agenda of the kingdom. See, you must not come out here as it's happening to them, realize it's happening to you. Hallelujah. Now, anyone with any kind of growth or anything in your body or you are standing in for someone lift up your hands whether a lump a growth please lift your hands because it's time for it to go turn her look at me just look at me. Look at me. In the name of Jesus, look at me.
right now this is a this is a mighty I'm seeing seven horns on this lady's head seven horns and it's not just her seven horns this is a territorial spirit that has sat on our family but by the blood of Jesus Christ I adjure you by the blood of Jesus I see a big gate closed I open it now in the spirit many of you may not understand what is happening I open it I see a gate that is closed over that family I open it now all the chains on it let fire fall on them one of the horn terminal disease the other one delay the other one joblessness the other one lack of marriage i set it on fire as i see it in the spirit now now as it's happening to her it happens to you in the name of jesus your hands hallelujah I mean those just those with any growth please lift your hands now I'll start ministering to the sick right now we'll just start with them and we're going to take testimonies hallelujah before pastor Jake comes up to minister I'm going to pray for you sick people lift your hands if you are tired of that growth just growth of all sorts you are tired if you are not tired you can put down your hand whether it's a lump whether it's whatever it is hallelujah now as i pray for you the lord is showing me two people the power of god will come upon them there are movements on your body movements 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 and the Lord is showing me a mighty being something that looks like an alligator this is what I'm seeing the Lord is just showing it to me two of you by the power of the Holy Ghost wherever these two are Lord let your fire right now fall on those two the power of God will come mightily upon those two people whether you are inside or outside right now the power of god will come and the fire will fall mightily please when that happens let's have the two people out it's falling right now it's falling right now movements in your body movements in your body there's one more person left that demonic movement the fire of God locates you wherever you are right now in the name of Jesus bring her Come out, come out of her now. Out, that devil of darkness. This is a big, I'm seeing like a beast. It moves all around this woman's body. It's already forming pus, literal pus around her breast region. That devil of darkness. Because this is supposed to cause stroke, partial paralysis. It will eat up everything, they will cut one breast and then all through the body but right now your time is up please take note the second person the power of god is still going to fall on you the lord showed me two people right now in the name of jesus i release you i release you i release you by the fire of the holy ghost this is a projection of darkness the Lord shows me.
father by your mercy let the blood speak in the name of jesus christ i set you free let the swelling go down let the pain dry up be made whole in the name of jesus outside lift your hands the one person is outside just those outside outside lift your hands i like you to shout the name jesus the power of god will come upon that person at the count of three one two three that fire of the holy ghost in the mighty name of jesus while they are getting the person those with lumps growths lift your hands now thank you jesus as i pray for you start checking yourself we'll take some instant testimonies already the lord has showed me one lady a lump on the left side of your breast it just disappeared right now just disappeared right now lift your hands right now i command every lump every growth go in the name of jesus go in the name of jesus go in the name of jesus i command you to shrink every growth in any part of your body right now i command you to shrink in the name of jesus i command you to shrink in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah now begin to check yourself who is musa 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 please quickly if i if i call your case hurry up don't waste time we're still expecting the person outside the power of god will come upon the person just when that happens let the person come musa i'm hearing the name musa who has the name musa hallelujah please when i mention your case or any you are musa what are you waiting for you stand up there is witchcraft in your family and the lord is going to use you as a mighty deliverer hallelujah janet 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 The meaning of your name in your language means thank you. The meaning of your name means thank you. Thank you. You're a guy. Thank you. He's a brother. Tall brother. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Hallelujah. Now, listen. There is a lady, this is a very interesting case I want to call. The Lord is ministering to me. Listen, listen. Not only do you see snakes in your dreams, you see them physically around you. This has happened in a long time. Who is that person? Please. You see snakes physically. Physically. This happens physically. It's your time of deliverance now. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Please. The person is around. The person is here. Come out quickly, please. Save our time. We have a lot to do. Who is that person? You are the one? Physically. Come. Come up. There's another person. You? Come. Come. Two of them. Come now. Hurry up. Look at me. You see physical? Yes. Since when? No. But no mic. Eh? That was last year and we didn't this year too. Where do you see the snakes? In my dreams. Sometimes maybe when I go out, I see them on the way. You see them physically. What of you? I see them in my dreams. Are you married? Do you know why? This is what we must destroy this night. You, your deliverance will start now. Praise God. Come on, 
out of her now. Out by the power of the Holy Ghost. Now, the snake you are seeing is a man that turns to a snake for you. Right now, I, I, I just saw him in the spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Leave her now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out. Come out now. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out. Out. Tonight is your night of liberty. This lady, see. Because I am seeing and while I stood, the Lord was ministering to me. And the Lord was telling me that they have made a projection that this lady will never marry. Any man that comes around this lady, this is what destroys it. This lady you are seeing. Nobody likes her. For whatever reason, nobody can know right now. Leave her in the name of Jesus. Come out now. The snake you are seeing. Leave her right now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You brought the picture, two pictures. Listen. Listen, wait, let me describe it before you come out. You brought two pictures. Two pictures of your family members. Two different pictures. You came and stood. Who is the person? Two pictures. I mean, one, one, two pictures. You are here with two pictures of your family members. Who is that person? The Lord is ministering to me because there is, I need to pray on one of them. You brought two pictures of your family members. Please, when we have that person, come up. What are these people here for? Oh, I called you. Snake. I, I left her because we are going to deal with this. Janet, where's Janet? Who's Janet? Three of you are Janet. You are from Kogi State. Who is from Kogi? There is somebody from Kogi, Janet. Kogi State. Is it Kogi? I think Kogi. Is somebody from Kogi. Please. The Lord is ministering to me. Let's save time because I don't want you to tie down somebody's. I want God to grant us grace to minister. Your name is Janet. Your mom's name is Janet. You are from Kogi State. Come. Because I see they want to kill your mother. Lift your hands. That Your mom's name is Janet. I will pray for you so that she will be free. Where, what's wrong with her? We need to pray for her. Huh? Because I'm first seeing sickness and then I'm seeing a ghastly motor accident. We must pray for her. The power of God will come upon you and it will touch her. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, by your mercy, right now, let your power set him free. My brother, I break the curse of witchcraft in your family by the power of the Holy Ghost. Okay, hold my hands. Let me pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My dear, let me pray for you. This thing called bad luck must live your life now. In the name of Jesus Christ, be free. Totally free. I'm interested in your case. Let me pray for the rest. Which of your family members is here? If you are in her family, come and stand here. God is going to visit the whole family now. Our family, if you are not part of our family, don't come here, please. If you are part of our family, just come and stand here quickly. Please, let's save time. Sister, look at me. Salvation has come to your life today. This, your crying is over. Are you hearing me? Because... This, I must pray. This lady's family, she has suffered. You will just see a lady standing like this. That God will pick a lady out because this is, I'm seeing hardship. Yes, sir. Where are you from? 
What's your father doing now? Nothing. What's your mother doing? Nothing. Look at this. How did I know? Do I know her? Because this is a cause of hardship. There's nothing that they do that will prosper. But tonight, in the name that is above all names, salvation comes to your family. Realize that as it's happening for one person, it's happening to you too. In the name of the Lord Jesus, hold my hands. Do you know what I want you to do? Shout, hold my hands. Shout Jesus at the top of your voice. Can you do that? Jesus! Family, come. power in the name of Jesus we are going to pray two things the Lord wants me to pray number one your mother will not be a widow are you hearing me we are going to pray we are going to break that power number two there is a cause of delay in this family that will be lifted now is that true am I making sense there is a cause of delay hold your hands together oh you are not sure when i pray for you go and continue with your work praise god there is a cause of delay father in the name of jesus you ask me to call this family out by the power of the holy ghost i release them from this devilish shackle of delay there is a power of God upon my hands I'm going to lay it upon you as it comes upon you it will terminate this delay delay be gone you especially delay I cause delay delay in school delay in everything I cause it in the name of Jesus and forgetfulness in the name of Jesus Christ come you where are you from Kaduna. you are from Kaduna I need to pray for you hmm? you are not feeling very fine hold my hands this is a devilish thing thank you Jesus release her right now by the power of the Holy Ghost hallelujah Stephanie 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 do we have anybody like that Stephanie that's the person bring the person in I mean, that was the other one person. Remember, our two people. Break every chain. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for miracle jobs this night before the end of the program. Hallelujah. Enough is enough. Praise God. We are going to pray for jobs. Two ladies, you and you, two of you talking, come out. Come. Yes, God would locate you. What makes you think God will forget about you? Run and come. Come and take your breakthrough. There is power in the name of Jesus. Come and join them before you do your work. See? Let me tell you something. While she stood here, she was praying and saying that the Lord will locate her. Is that, is that what you were saying? Because I saw like a flash of light and I saw it written. And this was what she was thinking. And the Lord said, let her join and pray first. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, visit her family. Visit her family. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hold your hands together. Two friends. You who came and we are just talking, looking through the window and doing a lot of things. God is going to visit you. Where is your mother? Go and tell her 
huh? that by next month a big miracle is coming for her hmm? you know when god tells me words like this i'm very careful before you go and write an article on me now people can write all kinds of articles prediction incorrect three exclamation <laughs> hallelujah hold my hands let me pray for two hold. god is going to visit you look at me you will be great ladies i want to pray for you the hand of god will come mightily upon you thank you father use them for your glory right now by the power of the holy ghost let their families be mighty let their lives be mighty i separate you in the name of jesus christ Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lay your hands on him. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Let him experience your power and your grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You are sick in your body. You came here specifically for a miracle, for sickness. Let me see your hands. Please let me see your hands quickly so that we'll know. Okay. Please come out and line up quickly. Let's minister to the sick now. Baba, come. I will start with you. Please celebrate our daddy. Thank you for coming. If you're outside, please come quickly. Just line up quickly. No. Welfare. please please don't come out wondering will god heal me will god touch me yes he will yes he will hallelujah pastor williams pastor jakes can we quickly minister to them please as hands come worship him just lead us powerful songs of worship hallelujah as we pray for them those of you who are seated just keep praying in tongues we'll pray for them quickly and then we'll minister i want god to touch everybody this night hallelujah i want god to touch everybody i pray that god will give us time hallelujah. if there is time by the grace of god we'll lay hands on everybody everybody hallelujah we're just praying that we'll be able to do this quickly hallelujah worship team Savior, he can move the mountains. Thank you, Father. Let your power move as we pray for your people. In the name of Jesus Christ, go ahead. As we pray for you, please go back to your seat. Pastor Jesus. Okay. As we pray for you, just, you don't need to tell us what is wrong with you. As we pray for you, just trust the power of God to touch you. Jesus conquered the grave. Savior, He can move the mountain. My God, my God is mighty to save. He's mighty, He is mighty to save. Altar of salvation forever, and altar of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. He can move the mountain. My God, my God is mighty to save. He is mighty, he is mighty to save. Author of salvation, author of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Conquer the grave. Conquer the grave. my blood sister this thing has made me angry this is my blood sister blood of my blood bone of my bones that devil is a bastard this night 
this is my own blood sister same father same mother right now in the mighty name of jesus let my sister this is my mother's baby bone of her bone flesh of her flesh in the mighty name of jesus christ every spirit of sickness by the fire of the holy ghost out of her forever in the mighty name of jesus christ no sickness type for go in the mighty name of jesus christ if i do not fall sick my sister will not fall sick in the name of jesus christ perfection everything wrong with you be healed now hallelujah sorry i took it personal the thing pain me hallelujah praise the lord let's continue he hallelujah please if you are holding a picture just lift it up and we'll pray on it lift it up and we'll pray on it praise god if you are holding someone's picture just lift it up we'll have the time when we pray on pictures hallelujah As you go back, make sure you check yourself. Miracles are happening. It's raining. What's wrong with you? It's raining. It's raining. <laughs> I feel the wind of the spirit Now the heartbeat of heaven Let us hear Let it roll Let it roll Open the
You can come and stand. It doesn't mean you have it. We want to cancel HIV now. There's nothing to feel. Hallelujah. Whether for yourself or for your loved one, doesn't mean you have HIV. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please don't be impulsive. HIV is a killer disease. <laughs> you may have it. Come out to come out than to die. That devil is a liar. Bring her up here. Bring her up. Just leave her, leave her, leave her, leave her, just leave her. Leave her, leave her, just leave her. HIV, how many of you know HIV is a killer disease? How many of you know that HIV is from the pit of hell? Hallelujah. And how many of you know that HIV is reversible? This is what we are going to do right now. Worship team, powerfully, that song, miracles everywhere. Hallelujah. As we pray for HIV, please believe it. Believe it for yourself and for any other person that you are standing for. As you are praying right now, some of you, when we pray for you, you need to call them and tell them this is it.
give us a shout of praise. Hallelujah. 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 Did you bring your prayer request? Do you have your prayer request? Please bring them out and pass it. Hallelujah. Ushers, coordinate them quickly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, I want you to know mighty miracles are happening in this place. Mighty, mighty miracles. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Mighty miracles are happening. Now, this is what will happen. Pastor Jakes will come up, just, just um, minister for a few minutes. While he's doing that, I'll just take a few minutes break. When I come up, we're going to pray on the request. But we are going to take a few testimonies right now. Hallelujah. Now, please check yourself inside and outside. If you see that there is a notable healing, notable miracle, especially for those of you who were delivered. Hallelujah. Notable something left you, a chain broke. God, open your eyes to see something. How do we do it now? Uh, just go to the back. Go to the back. Hallelujah. When Pastor Jakes is done, he will meet you there. Hallelujah. Meanwhile, pass your prayer request quickly. Hallelujah. Praise God. Listen to me. While the apostle was ministering to those, the women with the, the burying cases. Now listen to me, one of you, three of you, this is what I saw, kind of babies you were carrying. Hallelujah. I saw the clothes the babies were wrapped in. They call it, is it turquoise blue? Is it turquoise blue? One was white, then the other was pink. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We did not discuss this before I came. Early on, while speaking to you, and I told you a woman will come giving a testimony of a baby. Are you following? Please. Pay attention to what the Lord is doing tonight. Hallelujah. First, because God will confirm his word and God will confirm the prophetic declarations of his servants. Hallelujah. I'll pray for some people right now. Please lift up your hands. The Lord communicated to me. The intention of Satan is to take away somebody's life during NYSE. Are you following? Just three days into NYSE. Hallelujah. And I began to weep. And I'll pray right now and the Lord will roll that thing away. Are you following what I'm saying? Please listen to me. I do not know who you are, but the Lord will locate you. Are you following? Whether it's your family member or whatever, that the hand of God will locate you. The devil is a bastard. Are you following what I'm saying? Satan is a bastard. How can somebody, God, the parents will train you to a point where you are supposed to bring blessing and suddenly the plan of Satan is to take away that life. Because people have projected from the village. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Father, we thank you. Please lift up your hands. Thank you, blessed Lord. <laughs> thank you, blessed Father. Thank you, blessed Lord. Mang Rikoto Panibong Rafi Ketalebraso Pratelia. Leon Jimbembrong Rate Kapota Virata Labara Baba Baba. The fire of God will locate you. The fire of God will locate you. The fire of God will locate you. That intention from the pit of hell. The fire of God will locate you. The fire of God will locate you right now. In the name of Jesus, let the angels of God, <laughs> aha, let the angels of God locate you. Oshas, please take note. Mark Repong, Shiketa Viron, Vendele, Araba Babandaya, Rian Noroba Baba Bela Gala Bosana, Riata Pong, Rate Ketelia, Bakitong, Shiketa Piratose, B. 
I rebuke that hand of death. We roll away that spirit of death. That projection from the kingdom of darkness. That projection from the kingdom of darkness. Please still lift up your hands. The Lord will break chains. The Bible says, whatsoever he does, prospereth. The, works, the Lord is to bless the works of our hands. Chains tying people's hands down. The sword of the spirit will break through. And the Lord will release financial blessings. Please listen to me. Because some of you from now, please pay attention to what I'm saying. Checks will be written. Are you following? Financial blessings will come. I'm telling you, I know what I'm saying. Financial blessings will come to you. There are people that your family have been suffering. They've been trying. Your father has been working. But his, their hands are chained. Their hands are chained. And the fire of God will go through. Some of you will literally feel the fire of God in your hands. There are chains around your hands that will be broken right now. Thank you, blessed Lord. Please just lift up your hands. Let the sword of God's spirit go. Let chains be broken right now. Let chains be broken. Even outside. Let chains be broken right now in the name of Jesus. Let the chains be broken right this moment. Let chains be broken in the name of Jesus. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains, chains. Chains holding your businesses down. Your father's prosperity, your family's prosperity, the works of your hands. Let the blessings of God come upon it right now. In the name of Jesus. Barrio Rapidon Rapidon Zepregila Lingzon Rapigata Chakraton Rebalooske Baliro Koto Baralana Bakate Gosu Paragale Bosha Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, blessed Jesus. Please, those of you with chest conditions, the Lord wants to touch you now. Are you following? Those of you with chest conditions, thank you, Lord. Please just lay your hands on your chest. Chest conditions around your heart, your lungs. Please just lay your hands. I sense the Lord touching you there right now. Just lay your hands on your chest. Blessed Lord. Touch them right now in the name of Jesus. Some of you will feel a warmth. A warmth around your chest region. The Lord will be touching you right now. Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, blessed Lord. Let healing come to you right now. You will feel a release. You sense a release right now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke that chest condition. Let it go. Let it go in the name of Jesus. Let it go right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That devil holding your chest, I command a release right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, blessed Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Just before I hand the mic over, the Lord communicates to me about these people. The Lord wants to grant you wings of ego. I hear what I'm saying? Wings of ego. It's for some people, it's not everybody I'm talking to. Wings of, of, of ego. The Bible says, mount up with wings as ego to come as grace in the spirit wings of ego you're so high you're so high in the spirit <laughs> please lift up your hand I'm telling you the Lord will 
Grant you wings of ego. Thank you, blessed Lord. Holy Spirit, let the breath of God rest upon them in the name of Jesus. Let the breath of God rest upon them. Let the breath of God rest upon them in the name of Jesus. Let the breath of God right now as I speak in the name of Jesus for those people blessed one ha blessed one for those people my God let the hand of God come upon you rando koshi pratila let the hand of God come upon you the hand of God comes upon you the hand of God comes upon you the hand of God comes upon you Oshas help me find those people the hand of God comes upon you. Just bring them to the right here. The hand of God comes upon you. The hand of God, of God comes upon you. The hand of God comes upon you. The hand of God comes upon you. Wings to mount up. Wings to mount up. Wings to mount up. Just bring them to the right here. Bring them to the right. Wings to mount up. Wings as eagles to mount up. Wings. There's a guy and a lady outside the Lord will touch you now. There's a guy and a lady outside the Lord will touch you right now. Rate poto fakita bo liberosi ila raba hasu pirati landa bakia ko shikse subra nende man shakila bo jale. My dear, you will not recover. Are you hearing? You will not recover because you begin to have experiences, dangerous experiences. Bariro si preti le brendo prati kado branira dinazingo si preti la. Help me find that guy and that lady outside I spoke about. Liro su preti la dando rosike to branira kata diraranando sing radiata. of Looking at my cute baby, this lady was participating powerfully. Hallelujah! Praise God! Now we are going to pray. I hope we have all the requests. Who has not written? Please, one minute quickly, just write quickly and come and drop it. God answers prayers in this place. Mighty prayers. There's still a lot to do. God is blessing people. There are impartations going on. Don't wait until you come out. Hallelujah. All right, everybody stand. This is a very prophetic moment. Please stand. Online, I hope we are connecting. Prayer, all the prayer requests that have been submitted online. left we want to pray on the request right now hallelujah
every request in this place is turned to testimonies. Hallelujah. Please, those, even as we pray, there will be impartations. So those who are here, as much as possible, um, just relax so that you don't get up and then you collapse on the way. Hallelujah. Do we have any more prayer requests? Okay, let's give one more minute quickly. I see people rushing with their requests. Please, for all our miracle services, we pray on requests. This was an instruction that God gave us. We cannot meet every need. Those who are online, connect with us. Mighty testimonies have come up. Hallelujah. We've had barren women have triplets. We've had genotypes changed. We've had all kinds of unbelievable testimonies. Let's see how this episode will be right now. Praise God. Pastor, Pastor Williams. Please celebrate him as he comes. Pastor, James, we're going to pray. Pastor Williams is going to lead us through this prophetic session. All I need you to do is stretch your hands and say amen when it's time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let us spread over 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 this request to over by our Satalaba. We can't disip and be Calaba no shitaba. We push it and we do shitaba. Let us be miracles. Let us be breakthroughs. Let us be breakthroughs. Let the impossible become possible. We can't pass our shitaba. Miracle jobs in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Ghost, shitaba, shitaba. Let doors open. Let doors. By the blood of Jesus, let doors open. By the blood of Jesus, let doors open. By the blood of Jesus, let there be possibility. Let the possible become possible. By the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of our Lord Jesus, in the name of our Lord Jesus, let the man and woman conceive and rejoice. In the name of our Lord Jesus, let there be creativity. In the name of our Lord Jesus, like a Oh, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the finger of the Most High, by your power, oh God, by the greatness of that power, let the enemy submit by the blood of Jesus, let submit by the blood of Jesus, let submit by the blood of Jesus, let doors open for your people, let doors open even those who are online, let doors open in the name of Jesus, let them be miracles, miracles, testimonies, miracles, testimonies, miracles, let it happen now, miracles, let there be testimonies, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let that which is impossible with no become possible now, 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 by the power of the Holy Ghost, thank you very God. Blessed be the name, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Father. Every request here we declare in the name of Jesus, it is turned into testimonies now. It is turned into testimonies now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I see miracles everywhere right now before we enter the prophetic session. Oh, 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 oh. Miracles everywhere Miracles everywhere Miracles everywhere Right now Right now Miracles Miracles everywhere I see miracles Miracles everywhere We need miracles Miracles everywhere
is going to do mighty things right now in this place. It's another dimension of the mighty things that you'll be doing. Hallelujah. Please, brothers and sisters, listen. God will not bring you to this place to waste your time. I told you all you need to do is to believe. All you need to do is to believe. Hallelujah. We are going to begin to decree and the power of God will move in another dimension in this place. Please, I'd like you to believe. I want you to shout amen. I want you to believe. It's time for breakthrough. It's time for the limitations that tie people maritally, job-wise. It's time for it to bow. It's time for yokes to be destroyed. And we'll also pray that there will be impartation. Some of you came to take fresh grace. Some of you have exhausted certain spiritual levels. Some doors have just refused to open. You have fasted, you have prayed. We have come tonight by the grace of God to supply grace. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let me tell you something. Prophetic words are very, very powerful. Hallelujah. It's not about speaking. It's about creating. Hallelujah. The prophetic word of God does not just reveal your problem. You already know what the problem is. But creating solution. Hallelujah. We're going to pray. Oh, that you will believe, brothers and sisters. That you will believe. That you will believe last miracle service a lady had two pressing requests one of it was to get a life partner for her it was becoming a serious issue the second was to get a job i sent the leaders the text the very next day after friday like this the next day somebody that has been playing around has not been serious today he's here tomorrow is there the very next day this brother just came and said look i'm ready to be serious we're going to get married and that listen listen don't clap yet the that same saturday she got a text that on the next wednesday she should come for an interview that one is not just a miracle that's what we call breakthrough. Hallelujah. Pastor Jakes began to speak about finances. We are going to pray for that. And for other issues. Are you ready to receive? For your loved ones. Lift up your hands. It does wonders in our midst. I started seeing this since Tuesday. I saw a big padlock bigger than this building and it was closed and I don't assume explanations when the Lord has not told me what it is hallelujah even till I came here God did not tell me anything about it and when I sat down while past, I mean while I was standing there Pastor Jakes was ministering and the Holy Spirit told me to open the doors of prison to them that are bound to open the doors of prison to them that are bound thank you jesus Now in the name of Jesus, every tied down marital destiny, every lady that is due for marriage, every brother that is due for marriage, and nothing is happening, this night I command that door be open. Be open now. Doors of marriage be open now. 
I call forth your life partner into your life in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive it in Jesus' name. Receive it now. Every marital chain over your life, I open it and I break that chain now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. For all those trusting God for job, you have applied and applied, you have done everything you know to do. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare, doors of jobs scattered around this nation and beyond, I compel you in the name that is above all names, open now, open now, open now. Federal government jobs, oil company jobs, bank jobs, in the name of Jesus, I release it to your life, I release it to your life, where you do not have helpers, may my God step in for you, may God step in for you, may God step in for you, receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Every family here that has begun a building project and has not been able to complete it for whatever reason, right now, I compel that project to be completed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every power that holds that project I challenge you in the name that is above all names. Let God's people finish what they have started in the name of Jesus. Every academic issue in this place. Whether admission issue, whether graduation issue, whether whatever issue, service issue, in the name that is above all names, I pray right now for every academic darkness, let there be light now. 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 For those that the devil has tied down and has said you will not finish, whether it's your undergraduate, whether your masters, whether your PhD, whatever, I command the doors of, of graduation to be open for you now. Whatever cost needs to be waived, we waive it now. We waive it now. We waive it now. Whoever has vowed that you will not graduate this night, we compel them to let you go. And for those who have been trusting God for service, you are finished. The name will come out, your name will not be there. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray right now. May God move in a way no man can explain. And may you be mobilized in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray for every family that has, has tried to move forward. There are families that are tied down, not as individuals, as a family. It will keep working for others, but when it gets to your turn, it stops. Tonight, in the name that is above all names, whatever has not been working in your family, we move it now in the name of Jesus. Whatever mountain, 
we challenge it. Rekata, sosote, aparekata, mazote, bariata. I challenge it. I challenge it. I challenge that mountain in the name of Jesus. Say kabalata kabalata she. Not of protosho baladaba. Hallelujah. Every spirit that is responsible for fight and quarrels in the house. Some of you, your parents are under yokes you cannot understand. It's not their fault, but tonight, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every power upon your family members that will not bring peace at home, I cause it to its root in the name of Jesus. I cause it to its root in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Mighty things are happening in this place. Hallelujah. I want to pray and break the curse of poverty. There are some families, it doesn't matter how much they give you. Something will eat it up. You buy a car to have accident. You build a house, rain will wash it. Right now I pray that any covenant of poverty that was entered in Rakata Bosota Repo Shotala on behalf of your family I set it on fire now I set it on fire now 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 Hallelujah listen I'm still going to pray that the power of God is going to move upon some people in a mighty way. Because this poverty in families must be broken. People have gotten into prostitution because of it. There are people who think you are lazy. They do not know that there are forces behind. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Lift your hands. I will first pray for you, 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 before your family. Forget about your family for one minute and pray for yourself. If you don't need it, just put down your hands. But if you are tired at where you are and you are saying, Lord, I'm not too young to be blessed. Lift your hands. When I count three, shout the name of Jesus, the power of God. Man, it will fall like fire. That cause, my God, I pray that that yoke of poverty will be lifted. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Go, 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 go. We cross it. We cross it. We cross it. We cross it. Poverty dies. Now. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray a very dangerous prayer for you right now. Remember the teaching I did on activating breakthroughs. The ministry of destiny help us. Hear me. There are many of you where you are now. You have the gift. You have the skill. You just need those who need what you have. You have it. You just need somebody. Hear me. The Bible says, and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. Hallelujah. Many of you after this meeting, I tell you on that God, they will send for you. I want to pray for you. Lift your hands. Whoever across this globe called earth has been destined to locate you and honor the grace upon your life wherever they are except God is not God in this place I pray tonight by the power of the Holy Ghost I call them into your life receive their ministry receive their ministry receive their ministry Destiny help us. 
Jesus wherever you are in the name of the Lord Jesus wherever you are from this night through phone calls emails supernatural coincidences connect to them connect to them connect to them hallelujah hallelujah I want to pray against the plague of death 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 lift your hands for you and your loved ones hear me the bible says with long life it didn't say will i give you it said will i satisfy you you are supposed to be satisfied with it hallelujah and no devil should cut short your life i want to pray for you now every plague of death over any life here or over any family by the power of the blood be lifted now in the name of jesus 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 hallelujah listen do you know why the psalmist prayed a very powerful prayer he said you are my glory and the lifter up of my head that means something lifted it down so that those that will see it and bless it cannot see it. i pray for you whatever has put your head down so that nobody will bless you this night According to the prayer of the psalmist, lay your hands on your head. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray whatever has put you down, I prophesy, arise, 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 shake it, shake it, my brother, brother, sir, arise. Hallelujah. Keep your hands up, please. Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible says, It shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water, which yield its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. He said, Whatsoever he does prospers. Lift those hands. Every curse that the devil wants to put upon your hands, there are some of you anything that touches your hand fails no matter what it is from tonight that yoke comes to an end in the name of jesus that yoke comes to an end in the name of jesus that yoke comes to an end in the name of jesus hallelujah now i want to pray against habits look at me there are people dying of all kinds of habits from all kinds of lust to all kinds of things are you getting what i'm saying this is what gives satan access into the lives of many people doesn't matter how they pray for you doesn't matter how they they deliver you you will find yourself paul said that the things that i want to do I do not find myself doing them he said and the things that i don't want to do that's what i find myself doing it he said with my spirit i serve the lord but in my body i see another law working in my members and he said oh wretched man that i am who shall deliver me from this body of death i want to pray for you take this prayer very seriously because many of us after all the prayers and the deliverances we keep opening doors i want to pray for you it takes grace it's not about struggle listen say look at me if you want to use willpower to say i want to force myself not to sleep with this sister you are joking except you are not a man that god created many people have tried to use force this is where grace comes in 
You see, grace is a powerful ability of the spirit. It makes you extraordinary. That's why some people don't believe that there are people who can walk in holiness. They say it's impossible. Did you know that wicked spirits are behind these promptings? You see a matured man who go and carry a little girl like this one, this baby. Huh? A baby that he can give birth to how many times? And then still want to molest. It's not normal, brothers and sisters. Or pornography. Once you see free internet, your body is shaking. No, it's not normal. Either the victory of Jesus Christ is a lie or there is something wrong. We want to settle that issue tonight. Lift your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, every fleshly desire that although you love God, you are seeing another law, whatever power that sponsors this operation of lust and immorality, I curse you to your root in the name of Jesus. I curse you to your root in the name of Jesus. I curse you to your root in the name of Jesus. I release you from every kind of habit you have been praying about. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and men. There are many of us, there is nothing like favor in your life. When you hear people talk about favor, you just keep clapping for them. But the sincere truth is that you don't have that testimony. Somebody can come and meet you. Come. Somebody can meet you and say, take me to Sister A's house. You will escort them. They will go and bring Sister A and leave you. It's not so. Favor is the sign that the presence of God is with you. And if you truly have the presence of God, something, a signature, somebody should just like you and bless you. Lift your hands. Let me pray for you. If you have not been shouting amen, this is a place to shout and amen and receive. I pray, let the oil of favor, may it mantle your life now. In the name of Jesus. 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 Favor. 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 I'm going to pray that prayer one more time. Many of you do not know that one day of favor can end some wicked struggles in your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Favor. Somebody called a man of God and told him, he says, sir, for the rest of your life, I want to be giving you allowance for food forever. What kind of, what kind of thing is that? And this is somebody that is blessed. Hallelujah. A lady walked up to me some months ago and said, every month I will be bringing cake for you. Every month she brings cake for me. Every month. There are people that send me recharge card every month as, as a covenant between them and God. There are people that say every month I'm sowing it no matter what it is. See, God can bring somebody who will like you. No strings attached. They are just compelled by God to bless you. May those kind of people find you after this night. May those kind of people find you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Let me share with you a true story. And it's the story of somebody I know. This guy was trusting God for a breakthrough in his life. Things had gone so bad. 
are you getting what i'm saying and he just went to abuja when he went to abuja he just met his friends hear me the friends told him just follow me and he followed them sheepishly only to go and find out that they were they were trying to negotiate a land how much was the land 720 million naira and the agents will get 10 percent 72 million and they, with him they became four he thought he was dreaming when they gave them they said you you followed us you have something this guy became a millionaire overnight see i don't believe in laziness but there is so much your hard work can do lift your hands one more time i pray for you where you are struggled where you are running may the favor of god pick you in the name of jesus may the favor of god pick you hallelujah 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 I want to pray one more prayer. Hallelujah. The Lord was ministering to me about something, so I was just waiting to be sure. Now I'm going to pray for you. This is the last prayer point. Hallelujah. Hear me. Many of you do not know that the biggest secret of being successful in life is to carry the fire of the Lord upon your life. Hallelujah. The sincere truth is there are many of us who love breakthrough. We love miracles. But this passion for God is not there. We can run to God and come and make promises. Oh God, I will do X, Y, Z. But except your heart is with God, blessings will kill you. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are many of us, the day you see one million in your account with your eyes, that day you will tell God, wait, till the day the devil whips you and whips everything away, you will remember God again. I want to pray. For me, I consider this to be the biggest part of this meeting. And it's an impartation. I want to release grace and fresh fire. Please stand up, everybody. Let's honor this prayer request. This is why some of you came especially some of you who are pastors or in ministry you cannot afford to do ministry in a powerless way you will struggle for nothing it's what will make you angry with people and it's what will lead you to go and start dipping your hands into ungodly things because you are looking for power there are pastors now running helter skelter going everywhere because they want power for signs and wonders and god can give it freely our goal in this place hear me i've said it again and again is not for us to have some superstar men of god trying to help some people no is to empower you and release you to go and do the works hallelujah there are some of you that have been praying and say lord will you put an anointing upon my life that will cause my generation to hear my voice there are many of you who have been praying and saying, Lord, my prayer life is dead. There is even nothing there again. There are some of you, your word life is dead. The last time you read your Bible was during Koinonia last week. I'm going to pray for you. There will be an impartation. And I'm going to release spiritual gifts. Paul said, I desire to come to you that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift." This thing is not about struggling. If it's there, it's there. If it's not there, it's not there. Period. I'm wearing a suit. I cannot assume I'm wearing a suit. I'm not wearing a kaftan. No matter how I pull this suit down, it's not a kaftan. Brothers and sisters, I see the way many people behave over anointing. This is not how God trained us. When you catch it, you know you have it. Paul said, such as I have. This struggle that people do, it is not there. Period. I 
I don't want you to have a struggling Christian life that will make you to start lying bringing prophecies that are not of God misleading people into things that God did not say because you are under pressure to show that you have power you lay hands on people they are not healed you force them to say they are healed brother if that healing power is there it will show you don't need to tell people i have it people are not blind they are not stupid they know when authentic power is there there are ministers that are struggling struggling arrogantly and they will not know there is an easy path in the spirit today i want to pray for you if you will believe that something will come upon your life it's not enough to see the things that happen here these things are available if you are really interested lift your hands i want to pray for you from the depth of my heart you are a pastor you are an evangelist you are an apostle you are a prophet you are a ministry or you just have a passion for god and your christian life has died fire is coming upon you lift your hands just keep your hands lifted Jesus, let a fire of impartation. Your people need fire. They need power in their life. Right now at the count of three, there will be a release of mighty impartations. After the count of three, I'd like you to shout out and say, goodness. The power of God will move in a mighty way. I will release it from the depths of my heart. One, two, three. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Ba 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 sheka la bariara. Sheke te 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 te. Receive it. Fire altars coming alive. Shake ta 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 Prayer altars coming alive by the power of the Holy Ghost. Fresh power. Fresh fire. Let it come like a mantle upon your life inside and outside. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Lift your hands as I begin to release the gifts of the Spirit. Whichever it is that is for you, it will hit you where you are right now. Let the gift of wisdom, my God, upon as many. Just a symbol. Take it now. Take it now. The gift of wisdom. The word of knowledge. Receive it like fire. Take it. Take it. The gift of healing. In the name of Jesus. Let the healing anointing fall. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Healing fire. Healing fire. So to talk about. Rekete nekata. Ba proto shota balarara. Let the gift of prophecy. I command prophetic fountains at the count of three. Be open. One, two, three. Take, 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 take. Take it right now. Prophetic fire. Prophetic fire. Shake it, take it, Rebosha. Don't go so far. Shake it, take it. Grace of visions. 
place for prophecy dimensions of spiritual experiences so Gift of tongues, receive it. Interpretation of tongues, the working of miracles, the working of miracles, the mantle to move powerfully in the miraculous. You will raise wheelchairs, blind eyes will be open, deaf ears will be open. Take it now, take it now. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. For those of you in business or all kinds of entrepreneurial things, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that anointing that was upon Joseph that made him do supernatural things, I pray right now, may that anointing upon as many who are in business, then in entrepreneurship and our kingdom financiers right now let it fall upon you in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus every request that you came here with whatever made you to leave your house and come here tonight whether it has been mentioned or not i lift up my hands and in the name that is above all names we turn that request into a testimony we turn that request into a testimony It will never be the same again. I want to give you an opportunity right now to make it right with Jesus. Keep standing inside and outside. Please everybody listen to me. No distraction. I want to give you an opportunity right now. Of all of the mighty things that God has done in this place, the greatest of all miracles, please keep standing, is the salvation of your soul. And I know there are people here who have never made it right with God. You've always wanted to. But you've not seen any reason. Some of you outside belong to this category. And right now, I'm going to make an altar call. Some of you have given your heart to the Lord. But sincerely, you have derailed from the things of God. It's time to make it right tonight. All of these miracles are a demonstration of the love of God and I do not want you to miss this opportunity I'm going to count one to five wherever you are the Holy Ghost is already speaking to you the Bible says as many as will come to him he will in no wise cast away it's time for you to begin a journey that will make your life count in this life and secure your, your eternity with Christ Therefore, wherever you are, it's my pleasure to invite you right now. Inside and outside, don't wait for anybody to come. You are the first to come. As I begin to count, please leave your seat. One, God bless you. Hurry up, rush, come out. As though it's a matter of life and death, because it is. Two, please hurry up. Don't let anybody stop you. Let them see you. It's better for them to see you. And you make heaven. Three. Koinonia celebrate them. They are coming. Encourage them. As many from outside. Don't let anybody stop you. Four. Just one more count and we are done. Jesus is inviting you. An end to your struggles. You have tried. You have done your best. You have done all you know to do. It says come unto me all ye that are heavy laden and weary and i will give you rest it's called the prince of peace when he comes into your life he truly brings peace we are waiting for you quickly quickly anybody appreciate them they are still coming god bless you god bless you this is why god brought you here hallelujah now those of you in front 
I congratulate you for coming to make this glorious decision. God bless you. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, all of you in front. I want to pray for you. Mean it from the depths of your heart. Reciting it as a poem does not make you born again. But from the depths of your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I believe in you. I believe you died for me. I confess my sins. I ask you to help me tonight. Forgive my sins. Cleanse me with your precious blood. From today, I receive eternal life into my spirit. I'm a child of God. Forward ever. Backward never. Holy Spirit, come and live in me. Function through me. Make me an ambassador of the kingdom. I denounce sin and Satan. Whatever is not of God cannot thrive in my life again. I am a true Christian. I am a child of God. I receive grace to live the victorious Christian life in the name of Jesus Christ. Keep your hands lifted. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you. You brought these ones by your power. I thank you for what you are doing in their lives. I pray that their experience will last in the name of Jesus. Receive these ones and make them mighty men. Secure their eternal destiny in Christ. And I give you all the praise in the name of Jesus. Now quickly, I want you to follow the ushers. They will have your details and will follow you up tomorrow by 5 o'clock. Please listen. Tomorrow by 5 o'clock, we would like to see you at chapel, just close to the book stand, chapel, ABU. Please try to come around. Hallelujah. Those who invited them, encourage them so that they can come. We we'll pray with you, get you filled with the Holy Spirit, and we we'll follow you up. May God bless you. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing.